come. I'm I'm sorry you have to be here because you lost your last match against Pichil. It's it's all good, Alex. Uh, uh, hi everyone. Uh, pleasure to be here with uh, one of the, one of the uh, uh, great good uh, all time greats of commentating, Alex Lally. How are you? <laughs> grinding. Grinding. But enjoying my but enjoying myself. I mean, good matches, good pool, a lot of safeties. Right, right, right. Uh, I, I like love the it. format. I yeah. love the format. Yeah. So I don't know how much you know about Snigolski. But he's, he used to be like the Polish number one some 10 years ago. Won a European title, three Euro Tour events. And you've played one or two of those. You know how tough they are. So definitely, definitely a player. Clearly, Ocean, the favorite. Right, right. Uh, I know uh, Shigotsky. Snigotsky. Sorry, guys. Um, she, let me try it again. Snigotsky. She, Snigolsky, Snigolsky. Yes, okay. Close enough? We should have practiced before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I really know him. Uh, well, not person. Well, I mean, I talk to him a lot. And uh, I can't forget this guy because he's the one beat me here in Poland about uh, 10 years ago. Oh, in, the, in, in the Kielce. Yeah, that was yeah. here. No, that, that was in Warsaw. No, the World Pool Masters. That was 10 years ago when I played him. That was here in Kielce. Hundred percent, hundred percent. How many uh, World Pool Master they have here? One. Was it ten years ago? Yeah. Oh really? Yes. Oh wow. Oh, well, I guess it, it was here then. So yeah, he beat me, and uh, I never heard of him before. And uh, we, well, after he beat me, now I know who he is. Yeah, <laughs> you just tend to remember the guys that beat you a little better than the guys <laughs> that you beat, right? <laughs> kind of, yeah. Uh, what about Albin? Albin is the uh, the hottest, uh, one of the hottest pool player in the, in the decade, he, uh, especially in the World Championship. I'm as I'm seeing him a lot. Nine times to the final. No, excuse me, four times to the final in nine, nine years. Right, right, right. So that's real strong. That's pretty strong. Yeah, huh? he has a good moving game, good defense. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna ask you this. Uh, you don't have to answer this. Who's your horse here? Horse here to win the whole thing. Uh, my horse in that I'm involved, well, or, or I mean, who I would tip. Yeah. Well, I'm tipping Shane. Shane, yeah. But it would be nice to see. Mm, well, I'm doing a little work with Zielinski. Yeah, Zielinski you know, on, his, on his defense. So then, you know, I'm a little bit involved there. That's nice, and it's good for the game if here in Poland a Polish player would win. I actually, he's my horse to win. I never. Um, he's one of the. Most talented pool player I ever seen in my life. I mean, <laughs> yeah. he's gonna be here for a long, long time for sure. The, the talent that he has, and uh, I'm pretty sure once he get the the experience, um, his uh, his game is gonna go up a notch for sure. Yeah. So, but let's see. I mean, e even though if you know everything, the most important thing is to put it together while in the arena you're in the arena you know what i mean yeah so. and the big thing i think is that you get a little help from the table at times when you have a little dip right you know you're not always consistent you have those little dips and if you get a good shot at the right time that's huge yep yep uh, also uh when you're playing uh, bad you always can rely on your b game so my tip to the upcoming player player to work on their B game, you know, because you're not going to play your A game all the time, right? So Yeah, and especially in Europe, between 18 and 23 years old, there's like 50, 60 straight shooters who don't miss. Right, right. So right, the right. difference is not going to come from there. Right, right, yeah. So it looks like he needs to play to the side pocket. Yep, it looks like it. Pretty much straightforward here. So uh, I like uh, Albin Ocean's demeanor to the game and his mental. Uh, he's got very strong mental game. So yeah, and 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 so what do you see when you look at him? I I look at him. He's like uh, I I know we all got uh, fear in us, but uh, I don't think the fear bothers him. So if uh, if I'm gonna uh, suggest to upcoming player who wants to uh, their copy 
when it comes to demeanor, I I, I think uh, I, I like uh, Albin Ocean. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it to yourself because also if the fear bothers him, he still doesn't show it. Right, he right, right. He keeps us right. guessing. Yep, 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 yep. So, but we all know we have fear in us. Oh, 100%. Well, a, a player, I don't know if you've had the chance to see him play that has little fear or shows little fear is Wang. Wang from Vietnam. Wang from Vietnam. He'll play, he'll play Shane later today, the second match on the table one. I, I know Wang. I, oh, I, I, I like I, his game. Yeah, I, I play with him before, yeah. Um, but supposedly he's playing a little better here than, than what he normally does. Yes, yes. Because people are telling me like normally he didn't play like that. Here he plays as if he owns the building. Right, 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 right. So what do you think of this format and the break? What do you think about it? Well, break seems difficult. I've never tried it. Um, uh, very important to be consistent with the break. Right. Also, right, also for your mental game, like if your break is inconsistent, it's very hard to be at ease in your chair. Right. If you're falling behind 4-1, for example. Yeah. I, I. Yeah. No, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. I mean, I, I kind of like the break uh, format because uh, you're not guaranteed to make the ball all the time and you're not guaranteed to get position all the time. So, uh some of your arsenal, uh, I think all of your arsenal is required for this format, yeah, I think. A more complete game. Yep, I think so. So so this shot, Alex, to get from the three to the four, the four does go to the side pocket. Um, well, actually, there's room enough, I think, to swing it round. Like four rails, you mean? Uh, in between short, long, long? Yeah, well, we'll go one, two, three, four, in between the six and nine, that's a little bit risky, but, or you can put the... Uh, Massive uh, right. Uh, I don't know how is he gonna play this. Maybe two rails. Oh, oh, he's straight enough to do that. But he underhit it a little bit. Yeah. I don't mind going for the banker, especially playing in the diamond. They got consistent rails. You know what I mean? So yeah, even though it's a back cut bank. Yeah. Well, some players. Uh, if you're from the Derby, uh, from Kentucky. Uh, <laughs> Uh, if yeah. you if you have been playing a lot of bank pool, they look a little different. Right, right, they right. Look right, a little right easier. I agree on you on that. Especially uh, the table you played on is the same. So, but with that being said, I don't know uh, how Al Alvin feels about this shot. So let's see. I well, it's also that he has a straightforward safety. Nice shot. Yeah, pretty my, nice my shot. My first thought was banking the four to the right and putting the cue ball behind the six, but this is actually a better shot. Right. Put, puts him in more trouble. So how do you play uh, kick here? Pshoo. You kick it soft and uh, yeah. the, it has a Two block. rails. Yeah. I like to go two rails soft. Just hit the ball, don't foul. And hope. Uh, it looks wide a little bit. Oh, he did it pretty good. Yeah, I like that. And there's the risk, you know, to be stuck behind the five ball. Right. But I'd rather take that risk than do something more aggressive on the four. Yeah. I think if he if he uh, hit it a little bit thick, he, he would have hooked him behind the six. But um. So Snigolski knows what's coming. Oh, and he played that really well also. Yeah. But it's so difficult if you're playing safe to not push that object ball to the rail. Right, right. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, you're right. But uh, in this uh, uh, case, I think uh, 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 can he hit one rail? Well, I, I guess he can, huh? He under hit it a little bit, but is he going to be okay? Well, that's a good result. Yeah, maybe back in the day that's a little bit safe. Uh, I don't know now. <laughs> um, well, at least he has to come with it. Right, right, right. I right, mean, right. if Albin makes a shot, it's a good enough shot where he would think, okay, I got this. Right, right, right. You'd be happy to get this, right? I, I would play safe. I'd draw my cue ball right behind that seven and six, but I don't know how Albin feels about it. Ooh. He oh. underhit it a little bit, but I think he got lucky. Yeah, lucky in that he deaccelerated. Yeah, I think so. But still got far enough with yeah. the cue ball. 
I'd still be happy being Snigotsky yeah. with that space between the four and the rail. Yeah, he's got to go really tuck into that the pink four there. Uh, wrist the scratch, but uh, if he hit it good like that, and a lot of things, good things could happen. Yeah. Know, so. Okay. So now. this is this is all a result of that safety behind the five that Albin didn't play tight enough. Right. It right, was a relatively right. easy safety. Yeah. Well, so. from this where we at? It's exactly. Pretty <laughs> yeah. Good point. Good point. Good point. <laughs> Okay, I mean, I'm playing a straightforward safety here. I go, you know, in between that six and seven, hit the rail first, side rail. What do you think? Hmm, I guess he could do that. This was, I think, a little easier to execute. Right. Well, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you're right. Uh, so now there's a shot clock, so we have less time, being the commentator, sh to call the shots. Oh. But I like a ticky. Yeah, two, two rails. I like li I like it two rails. Bump it into the seven. Yeah, I like two rails in this one. Two rails like this. Ooh. Oh. He tried to do a little more than just bump it towards the seven. Right. Then please start the clock. Well, I would have gone two rails because I played a lot of one pocket, so I'm pretty comfy trying to make that ball in the. Uh, oh, two rails to make it. Yeah. yeah. But um, everybody's different, right? Um. I'm not saying that I'm going to make it all the time, but uh, i probably ma make it one out of five, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, that good odds, good yeah. odds. I'm going to hit it. Well, I shouldn't say I hit it for sure, but... Uh, uh, one in five, or would you lay five to one? I would <laughs> try to make one out of five. Okay, okay. Not five to one, because once you hit a few few shots, you you know exactly how to adjust a little bit, you know? Yeah. So. Well, a hard fault wreck. It's a big difference today, Alex, with the shot clock. Oh, yeah. Completely. I mean, completely. So many tactical battles in this format. Mm -hmm. But then with the shot clock, 30 seconds, one ah. extension, it changes the game completely. Oh. I think it, it, it's an advantage to the more experienced players. I cannot agree more. But not... I I think it's less advantage to me for for me I'm a veteran player but just because of my eyes I need to lock in to the object bomb before I shoot. Yeah. Uh, that's the reason why I need more time. So if I were to make it today, I would have been a disadvantage for me. <laughs> but lock in the, in the object ball is this like an issue with your eyes? Yes. Yes. Over yes, the yes. years. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, just because I I. I don't wear glasses. And I tried, but it uh, didn't work. <laughs> yeah, and is it something you can do with laser? I, I asked a professional, a good uh, a friend of mine. Uh, his name is uh, uh, Rob Hall. Um, uh, he's an eye doctor expert, and um, I asked him about it. He says, LASIK is not for you. Those, the LASIK is designed for the uh, people that had bad eyes when they're young. Mine yeah. is like a natural cost. Yeah. It's called aging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I hear you. Okay. A well, good break by Albin. Yeah. Uh, one thing, you said object ball, you need time to lock in, so you're very much an object ball player? Well, not really. I'm more like a cue ball player, but obviously I'm looking at the object mm -hmm. ball where it is, especially a long shot like this. Yeah, I need to, like... M maybe it's the shifting. Like the shifting between cue ball, object ball, it takes That's a little longer. Yeah, you're right. Now you put it in, and we described it in perfect. How it is, yeah. yeah. Okay. So. so tight gap on the four, and I'm sure he can cheat the pocket if needed. The only thing, the five is on the left. Right. So you wouldn't be able to force it too much. Yeah. If I was him, well, I'm I'm pr I'm pretty sure uh, he's aware of it. Just you know, give himself uh, a little bit of angle for the uh, from three to the four into the five. Yeah. So, so if it's tight, yeah, where normally he would give himself, I don't know, a thirty degree angle. Now it would be a forty. Right. Uh, it looks perfect to me. Yeah. So this he can play just a little bit softer. Yeah. Would you go two rails from here or just one rail? Two rails I like for the stroke, yeah. how to hit the ball. But it means he has to hit it just a little bit harder. 
depends how I feel. Okay. Fair enough. Uh oh. A little break from uh, Snigotsky. Snigotsky, good job. <laughs> what you do a lot, you become good at. Yeah. So just keep saying his name. Mateus Snigotsky. Yes. All right. And then his nickname is Snigol. It's Snigol. And That's that means it. snowball. Yeah, I'm going to call him Snigol. I yeah. like the way he play that. It's just. Uh, Natural. Re yeah, regular stroke. I mean, don't have to force anything. Center ball. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't make it look too fancy. Yeah. You know, he, a good head, big heart, solid. I think winning a tournament, that's, you gotta, the most important is to put it together. Oh, he under, oh, he overstroked that one. Still cuts. That's gonna be a tough one. Extension calls. Yeah. It looks like he's going your shot. Yeah, it cuts, and the thing is, you can you can play this with backspin to like slow the cue ball down, but yeah. often you'll do more than you anticipated. Would like you put any siding in it? Yeah, maybe like a hair of right shot. He hit it pretty good. He hit it very good. Yeah, he came with it. That's what wins the tournament. You gotta come, come, come with the shot. Yeah. Still thinking, needs to punch it. He's gonna have something. Nope. Well, the good news here is uh, Albin is gonna be in a top spot after uh, after the shot. So, uh, but the the bad news for Mateus is when the guy is shooting, anything could happen. So Anything can happen, and he did play very nice speed. Okay, let me ask you a question. Would you rather be shooting here, or...? No, I'll let the other guy shoot. Okay. You know, right. even though he can he can make it, but I, he has a straight back to the pocket top left, and he can play that, like, with overspeed. Yeah. With the build-in safety, that would be my shot. Once in a while, you two rail this one. Low banked it, man, like that. And I guess he played the two-way shot. I played uh, enough bank in my life, so I usually just, you know, go for it. Go for it, and once in a while you make it to the uh, bottom left pocket. You know? Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. But the uh, okay, I hear you. Yeah. Especially on new cloth. Right. Yeah. Then it still opens up. Yeah. But he was close to the rail, so then more speed is for me would be hard. R right, 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 right. Well, I mean, uh, I guess uh, we played in enough one pocket, so we kind of like uh, play those shot a lot. But uh, it's all it about them percentages. Right. Um, like I said earlier, I don't miss from this spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you don't miss a lot in general. I mean, uh, you seem yes to be do, in, yeah. in good in good form. You know, everyone on social media is talking about how the lion dipped the killer three times in a row in a week. Yeah, I'm having a good week with um, Joshua Filler, and um, I'm hitting the balls pretty good, uh, except for my last match. But uh, 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 overall, I'm oh, happy right. the way I'm performing this day. What did you think of Pichel's game, the guy that beat you from oh, Serbia? Straight shooter. Straight, straight shooter, shooter, fighter. And, and uh, good heart. So uh, yeah. I'm, I think I'm going to be seeing him a lot in the tour for sure. And it's not improbable he makes it to the semifinal tomorrow. Like he's playing Fayen, Fayen more seasoned, former right. champion. Yep. But he's, he has the game, and if he, if he would win... I need to look that up. Yeah. Wasn't too bad of a draw. So no opening shot for Sneagol. Mm-hmm. I I wonder what is the safety here. Hmm. Interesting here. You would look at playing top spin and arcing and slowing down the cue ball behind the six, I think. Um and then the, where would the object ball go? Yeah, if you have a line to bring it to the middle of the short rail. But if I don't think that's on, right? If 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 the nine ball is closer to the rail, I would 
tried to go rail first and trying to make the two. So, because once you, most of the time, the only way you sell out if you hang the two in the corner, right? But uh, oh yeah, he's playing your shot. This is it might scratch in the side or the corner here. It's gonna be. He has to hit this one good. Oh, like nice. this. Like oh, the, yeah, yeah, this is exactly yeah. what you called. Yeah. You yeah, said yeah. if the nine ball is closer to the rail, yeah. I go rail first. Yeah. That's that's the problem with that shot. And play start the clock. Wow. Nice hit. Yeah. He, he hit it pretty. Well. It's kind of sucks that um, you know make a good shot and scratch from there, but but yeah. But it's there for thousands of years so <laughs> <laughs> that's what they call it in the, <laughs> the in quarter America. pocket yeah but yeah. still improbable right it right. was so thin off the nine yeah um okay he'll fall three one behind but if i were in snigotsky's corner i'd be happy with how he struck that ball ah uh, me too me too very calm uh when you well I keep saying one pocket. When you play enough one pocket, then that's what you uh, see a lot. Those kind of uh, situation. Oh yeah. Yeah. And that's a reason to play that game. So you learn a little more. Uh, you expand your database of shots. Right. I'm pretty sure you've been uh, working on your game there. Uh, you're sneaking up on us, here, <laughs> Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a lot of good things about your one pocket game. So I'm playing three cushion a lot actually back Oh home. good. Yeah, that's a nice game. Yeah. So I mean, the, the, the the nice thing there is that every time I play I learn something new. Oh yeah. Like yeah, same as one pocket for me. Every time I play the game I keep learning some new shots. So but also here, I have to admit, I mean, so I've, I've been doing a lot of commentary and we've seen many safety battles. Right. So I've picked up a couple of shots this week. Good. I mean, like, I'm, uh, me too. I, I need to up, up my game. I think I have to change my game now because it's a new era now and uh, it looks like I'm getting left behind. Uh, I think I, I might have to change my new... And, uh, and in game. what direction you feel? Well, some of the shot, I think I need to go for it more often now. Because yeah. um, I think that what wins the tournament, I think, because uh, playing a lot of safety, just uh, yeah. I'm what, like... What wins the tournament is staying at the table as long as you can. It's true, but by doing that, you also need to make ball safety. You can yeah. only play safe one at a time. Yeah. So. Yeah, so, yeah, but true. mind you, uh, I'm working on it, so... So, yeah, it's about making choices, yeah? Right. What do you want to focus on? What's, yeah, your, well what's, what's your core business? My, my, my main thing is just improve my, uh, actually, my mental and my uh, shooting ability again, you know? Yeah. So, for me to compete at this level. Yeah, it's just work, put yeah. in the work. You know, it would please the pool fan. You see on the big stage many a time still. Uh, he stuck that ball really, really well. That, that That's not an easy shot, especially for me. I mean, every time I'm shooting off the rail, it tends to like my cue is going all over the place. So. Yeah, it was beautiful yeah. this. Yeah. It's and not only enough speed, he played just about perfect. Yeah, that's why he's a multiple world champion. I think the main thing here, if you, uh, at this level, if you can put yourself together, uh, that w I think that is the key. What do you think? Well, y you've said it a couple of times already. You have to be able to put it together when you're out there. Yeah. Well, 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 what's your well, opinion on that? Um, what's the question? Well, my question is, uh, I mean, we all agree now. I mean, for me, all these players, are pretty much similar right mm -hmm. so they all know the shots and um, I think the people that wins more is the one that can control themselves I think under the pressure of course mental game is yeah. is is very imp yeah super important yeah. and staying true to your game know your strength don't panic don't go on tilt <laughs> well that's that's, that's big that that sounds like me go on tilt, <laughs> especially when I play cards. <laughs> uh, 
Looked like uh, Albin's going to be 4-1 uh, up. Yeah. yeah, he's there. He was playing Tyler Steyer yesterday. Steyer opened up three racks on the spin, 3-0. Then a chance for Albin in rack four. He missed an open shot. 4-0 down. Yeah. And it could go two ways. Or alarm clock, time to go. Or um, panic attack. Mm. But what happened, it, everything fell into place after that. So 4-0 down, he ended up winning 11-5. Yeah. Uh, it's looking pretty good right now. Breaking good, queuing good. Only thing he has done wrong was that four ball that he tried to pot along the nine. Right, right, right. Um, I'm, uh, he might have uh, overlooked that one. I'm, I'm not pretty. Sh I'm not sure what happened there. Three Austrians in the last 16: Lechner and Mario He as well. Three Polish players: Zielinski is up 3-1 against Cheng John Lin. Uh, that is a good match there too. Six, oh, a lot, a lot of good match here. Okay, Forest let's see this break. I like it. One of the more powerful breakers. Oh, he undercut that, but he is fortunate he made that five ball. Yeah, five and... Ball. Uh, Fortunate, but it's also a result of breaking with speed. Right, right, right. So he in the field, he's I think in the top 15% of harder breakers. Yeah. Many players try to finesse the one ball in the in the side pocket. Okay, builder the one. Would you? Yeah, I'm going back and forth with that one ball. Yeah, play double speed. Yep. Don't be cute. I just played this with tops with uh, uh, a little bit uh, left. And why the left? Is that to manipulate the one or I to make the seven? To make the seven, just to kill it a little bit. Yeah. Oh, he he uh, played it with draw. You got to play that one like billiard shot. When you play a brand new clot, when you put a lot of tops, that's when he, you know, it, yeah, it first like bounces back. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't come through the ball right away. R right. Yeah. Mm. What would you do here? Well, we're uh -huh. waiting, Extension Alex. Huh? We're waiting. Well, <laughs> Say something. Okay. I'm going to, this is how I play this shot. I, it, it's kind of like well, uh, one of the Efren shots. So I'm going to hit the one ball full. Bank the one towards the nine, hit the nick the three a little bit, and put the cue ball right behind the eight. Ah. That's the shot I would play. Once in a while, you make the three, but uh, well, I, you don't have any ch uh, much choice here. So yeah, so very creative. Yeah, I will hit that three and uh, like, well, that one too. It works also. It works yeah. also. He yeah. banks good. I've yeah. had couple of discussions at times with Albin. Uh, bank pool, I don't know, I cannot play it. But <laughs> watching him play nine ball, he, you he know. Bank's really good, huh? Well, and it's also his ability to know when to go. Right, If he right, doesn't right. like it, he doesn't play it. Well, this one it requires a little bit of touch, and then, uh, you know, or would you go for the bank again? Well, mm, I don't know about that shot. Well, I like it. Well, you cannot question success, I guess. No, <laughs> no, but, but 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 they're under the clock, so oh, that's the big difference. That's I, why I forgot about that's that. That's why he banked the one, and that's why he played this now. Yeah. No time. I, I to see. look for more. I see. I see. Not he had a, he had a big chance to hide the two ball, and he was sure to give that's distance. Chances. Yeah, I think he's gonna hit the eight here, for sure. He just got to avoid that scratch. I think it'd be okay. Oh, he hit the eight twice. Well, Snigotsky needs prayers. Yeah, well, this one, I mean, I'm pretty sure he's going to go for the shot. Me, on the other hand, I might play safety behind <laughs> the eight. <laughs> it's in but your system. 
Yeah. It's ingrained. Yeah. Let me put that cue ball there <laughs> behind the eight ball. Uh, just got to watch out for the side. That's yeah, good a, shot. Yeah. Now that six ball does cut. Yep. If he puts the cue ball like a diamond to the right of the four. He's looking pretty good, Alex. Oh, yes. He's looking pretty good. Well, I w coming coming here, I'm thinking about favorites, you know, who could go deep, how's everyone's form. And I was far, actually far from convinced about Elvin's form. Yeah. Until yesterday, Tyler Steyer 4-0 down. And not when he won it, but even when it was 5-5. Five -five. He had played so many good shots. He won every safety battle. I see. And Tyler was was moving good, like a little better than I expected. So we had like 10, 12 inning safety battles mm. back and forth. Yeah, he's been playing in one pocket. That's why his safety's gotten better too. So you're on a mission, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I watched him play. The he he won a few matches, like he, he like eight rounds, I think he. Or ninth round for Tyler Steyer. So it's oh, pretty good for him. Oh, over at the Derby, yeah. yeah so. um, funky little position. He expected to... He played for the gap. Right, He right. thought uh, side pocket, corner pocket. Yeah, because he was frozen to the rail. So and this is... It's so... This is all experience. There's a shot clock. And yesterday he was playing like heavy. You yeah. know, taking time, every safety, every kick, taking a minute, two minutes. And now he just switches. Different yeah. approach. He's risking a bit more, but he knows he has to decide quicker. Right, right, right. I've been working on that game also, on my shot clock thing, because we're going we've been, we're gonna to be playing a lot of shot clock the next yeah. 10 and, years. And how do, you, how do you do it? I, I just trying to speed up a little bit faster. And if I, I may suggest you. Okay, go ahead. I'm listening. You just get someone to clock you. Okay. And uh, even if, if, if you're paying the guy twenty dollars an hour, yeah. Play play the ghost with the shot clock, give yourself a twelve second shot clock. Twelve seconds. Well I, I do it with players, like uh, with the, all those top play many top players we did shot clock training. Different formats. You can do twelve seconds right and once you're down you stop oh, counting. Or you do fifteen seconds. Five. But uh, if you play nine ball ghost or ten ball ghost, uh with ball in hand, how many time do you need? Not much. And if you play like that for 90 minutes, and every shot when the ball stops, the guy goes 12, yeah. 11, <laughs> 10. It's very intense. It's right, good right. practice. What we did, so what I did with the top player, so you start with nine ball rack. If you run out, you rack nine balls, and you put the 10th on a, on, a, on, a, on a third diamond. If you run out, you put the 10 and 11 on two third diamonds yeah and they had to make four racks in a row so See. then you add the 12 ball as well uh, and if they miss they start over well i'll keep that in mind That's okay good. he has a little tough shot What's here um he had the extension is it caribou in the side pocket i'm not no oh, he's gonna push out okay you put it there now show us something alvin <laughs> i wonder what the game plan here I like if if the jaw of the side pocket isn't in the way, he could think to bank the two across and keep it on the low side of the five. It's thin, meaning that the cue ball will be fast, but he could run into the six. Uh, I will give it back in this spot. Extension, please. I will give it back. And ooh, if he wants to go below the four and nine, he needs a lot of spin. And then the eight ball becomes a big ball right. and the scratch. Shot. That's that's the shot that I was worried about when he's gonna hit the two. But but uh, he did okay. He did okay, and you said I would give it back, but that's the thing, you're down five one. Right, right. So you have to risk a little bit more, yeah. perhaps. Yeah, I will give it back in that spot. Okay, but if you would have given it back to Sneagle yeah. and he makes this shot, would you then in the chair think, mm, I should have played? Oh, no. Uh, once I decided, um, I'm never going to change my mind. So. 
that's one thing about being well i learned that throughout my career and once you decide it there's no turning back yeah no but there's regretting. also learning i also yeah in yeah. hindsight you can think well maybe would have been better uh if, if i see if i learn some new shot yes okay okay i see some shot now i i my decision was uh his is a little bit better than mine, so I'll, 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 you know, take that and put it in my bank. Oh, wow. my goodness. Wow. Uh, He's playing so good. Uh, uh, I think uh, we all know we're gonna, where we're going to put our money right now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I, I shouldn't. I mean, it's too early, but uh, yeah. Shane is playing good. Everybody's playing good anyway. But... Uh, yeah, but he's doing very little wrong, yeah. Robin. But if I'm gonna, you know, put my money in the guy with the experience for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but my man is Victor. Look at that. He's on fire. Yeah. Albin is playing great. Yeah, I want to. I want to see uh, Victor. Victor Zelinski win. I really love the way he plays. Did you happen to see his comeback yesterday against the German kid, Neuhausen? No. Oh, no. he was down 7-1. I, I was playing uh, during that time. All I hear is everybody screaming. Oh, oh yeah. The was Polish one. <laughs> was was a great comeback. And the thing is with Zielinski, like especially in the last 15 minutes, a lot of pressure. It's not like he, he'll slow down and look a little bit extra. He just goes. Oh, goes, I know. I and know. And he's hitting the pockets. I, I watch him in Vegas, I watch him in Puerto Rico. This kid is like fearless. Yeah, beast. Yeah, no kids yet, no problem yet. Uh, I will wait 10 years from now. No <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if he has a girlfriend or not, but... <laughs> oh, a little bit uh, careless there, but uh, hey, he's okay. He's uh, allowed. Tight pockets. Yeah, he's allowed. And he is, uh, he's hard on himself, yep. you know, as a player, highly critical, you know, if you lose position, yeah. you have that little bit of frustration. But his form is really good, looks like a snooker player, and the way he struck that cue ball into the object ball looks so nice. straight. I mean, yeah. it looks so steady, it looks like he's never going to miss. Yeah. But I, I, I like Zielinski's. If I'm going to reborn, reincarnated, I want to play like Zielinski. Oh, yeah. I want to play just like that kid. He just like bang, 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 bang. Yeah, no. the thing is, the thing mm. is, it, the way he plays the, with faster players, it looks and probably is like they get energy from the game. Right. And not like they have to consume a lot of energy to, to get the balls in. Right, right, right. I like Albin the way his pace of the way he walks around the table. Yeah. It's just nice and it looks like she's doing it in slow motion, nice yeah. and calm. And smooth. Relaxed, yeah. smooth. Like nothing bothers him. Yeah. So now he's leading six to one and uh, uh, Sh Mateo Shinolki. Snigotsky. Snigotsky. <laughs> Snigol. Snowball, Snigol. yeah. Uh, he needs to get some snowball going here. Yeah, he hasn't really done much wrong. I mean, Alvin just playing phenomenal. So uh, Really phenomenal. Um, in another format, another breaking format, it's easier to play perfect. Yeah. In this format, it's very difficult to play perfect. Right. And, and apart from that first miss, he's doing just that. Yeah, he plays a um, complete player. I mean, he plays good uh, push out, safety, and breaks good. And yeah, it's not like he he's not a one pocket player. But yeah. But but he is practice many 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 hours on his defense he likes right. it so if yeah. he's practicing he, he does all the work on kicks and safety studying positions all right let's see Sneagle. Sneagle, right okay i'm gonna call him Sneagle. mateus is better i think for me or mateus yeah because uh 
it's hard to pronounce those names for us uh, Canadian Filipinos. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have Z, we don't have, uh, what else we don't have? We don't have uh, H. Well, you're happy we're not doing commentary on Wojciech Shevchuk or on Konrad Justicien. I don't know where that <laughs> is. <laughs> so where do you play safety? You put the cue behind the three or? Yeah. Yeah? I like the nine that. and the three and the four. I like that. Oh, he under hit it and no spin. Oh, I th is he going to be okay? Yeah, it worked out good. Yeah. like how he played that, actually. Hmm. It he looks like you only have one rail here, uh, Alex. Yeah, the nine ball is in the way somewhat, but he can, if he plays low right, Oh, he can see that. Oh, oh. yes, he get. Oh, oh no, he, intentional fall. Yeah, that's a pretty smart of him. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking about you because you know you play many intentional <laughs> falls. Uh, yesterday against Tyler, he did he did that twice. Right. Okay, how would you play safe here? Mm, well, if it, if he plays it like very small, if he can put it behind the six, just push that one ball in and behind the six, then there's no route to get to the one. Yeah. It's often you, with safety you look like to create distance, right. but if you go for second or third I ball, like that. you can put it really tight. I, 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 if I'm going to go aggressive, I'm going to move that uh, four and freeze him right by that six, you know? Or put him close to the nine ball with the one. Yeah, that too. Many options there. But see, the problem with this is, okay, you get ball in then. You also have another problem running out for the, f you know, three for to the, the four. four. Yeah. yeah. So I would have went a little bit aggressive there. You know, I just moved that floor and freeze him right by, by that six. Yeah, and good point. So. But you know what? Shot clock. Right, right, Without right, a right. shot clock, I'm pretty sure he would have played it differently. Right, right. Well, okay, this is what I'm talking about. Now you got a shot, right? So let's see. How's he going to run out from here? Oh, he's going to try to make the nine. Oh, he blocked. Did he block that? Yeah, the five yeah. is now blocked. Uh, not getting everything. easier. Well, if he draws back about a diamond, little over a diamond, he'll have a nice angle to go from the three into the rail onto the six. Okay. Um, hmm. I wonder how would you play this? Even here, it's we're on the shot clock making decision. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we as commentators. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Two rails, try and bump the six. Make sure to see the four. Make sure to see the four. Yeah, that's it. That's the problem there. Well, if you can go past that seven, you can play aggressive safety here, put the cue ball behind the nine. If you can pass that seven, hit it ten. Yes, had little table time. Yeah. I'm saying that safety should worry about the scratch over where the nine is. Yeah, he hit it pretty good. Hit it pretty good. Yeah, but that was my point. If you're feeling good, you can play to like <laughs> really get to the short row and behind, but he's down six one. Right. So you you don't have so much feel. But but the problem look at this. I mean, even from that angle, it's hard to scratch from there. That's when you know you're really going bad. Can you see the angle from like it's very difficult to scratch from there, right? From that angle, well, I mean, when you're going by, you're going bad. I mean, even if you try that to scratch, that's very difficult. Would you agree, Alex? Mm, no, it looks to me like he has an open pocket. Yeah. From there? Uh, yeah, it is, but only half a pocket, I mean. But I also would have played like I uh, under hit it because he also have the five yeah, ball there. Yeah, well, well, that if you're if you're thinking clearly yeah. or if you're scared enough of the scratch, right. you would think of a way to never ever scratch. Yeah, because the five is also there to, yeah, to block. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah, but 
with that being said, from here everything is easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the uh, sh it's shot clock. Yeah, it's shot clock. Yeah, that's the that's the thing. Uh, I've been working on it. Very difficult. They don't realize how difficult playing with the shot clock, especially 30 seconds. Th 45, I don't really mind. Yeah. 30 seconds is. 30 seconds. Imagine playing eight ball with 30 oh, seconds. Oh, I did that in Puerto Rico. Oh, yeah, but you were injured, right? Well, but still, I did that. I mean, I was like lost. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah. I think playing 30 seconds, I think you should have a default shot right away, just in case you uh, you get, you're get on the clock like 10 seconds. You should make up your mind right away. One shot just in case you oh. run out of time. Oh, yeah. Do you do that? Um, well, object ball first. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm just saying, like, do you do that? Like, uh, when you're playing 30-second shot clock, do you have a default? Okay, this is what I'm going to do in case I run out, out of time. Mm, no. 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 Okay. All no, right. no, because that would actually require an extra step in the in the in the in the flow chart. Right, right. Because then you first have to look for default sh shot before you start <laughs> looking at other shots. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, that's a pretty good shot. He's majorly under the gun. While yeah. he's so much behind that now, it's almost like he can play f with freedom, right? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody expects him to win from here. And the layout is always tough on him. I mean, this is not easy right now. Little bounce needed. Um, Very tough. <laughs> Would you bump the seven a little bit so you're free to Ooh. fly? <laughs> well, <laughs> there. <laughs> it's no. very difficult. No, because, because you know, the, he can play a tight safety behind the six yeah. if he doesn't get good shape. Did he hit the nine? Oh, that would have helped him if he... Uh, no. Now, there's... N I don't think there's a safety here, too. I don't. I've, I have no idea how to play safe there. Well, thin. It's it's nasty. Thinning it behind the nine and maybe falling behind the eight. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Oh, maybe a kick. Kiss shot. Maybe the kiss shot is on. Yeah, so but the problem with that is if you do make it, most likely you will be safe on the five. Yeah, play with speed. A nightmare session for Snigotsky. Oh, see, this is another problem that he's gonna have. Well, he needs a, he needs the uh, touch here, like like your touch here, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he can't he can't play an intentional foul. He's trapped. Uh, he just got a slow roll it. I think he can I do think this. I think Popka. That's trap in Polish. Oh, okay. I teach a little bit, yeah. And I think trap in pool is an impor important word, right, yeah, okay. to always recognize the so trap. So how do you say it in Polish? Popka. Popka. Yeah. Popka. Good job. He's Popka. Popka. <laughs> well, he did well, right? He did, yeah, he did well, yeah. Well, okay. Uh, I see a shot here. Shoot the draw the cue ball behind the seven. I mean, behind the six. Hit the rail first. Hit a little bit of the seven, and the seven will go around behind the eight. So, um, <laughs> are you playing the four into the seven? Yeah, rail first though, right? Yeah. Catch a little bit of the rail, okay. and then a little bit of the seven. Yeah. And the four ball will go towards the side or behind the eight. But these days, they're all going to go for this shot. Would you go rail first or the Well, seven is really close to the rail. Yeah, nice shot. Ah. He's doing some very little wrong. Highly focused. And then sometimes if a player is highly focused, it goes over the top. Yeah, they right. get a little bit tight. And that's the nice thing about Elbin. It's not the case. Right. He's smooth. A lot of quality in his striking also.
perfect angle on the six two for the eight and nine. So yeah, yeah and punch this enough to make it a nice stroke, and don't overdo it to keep that pocket pocket open. Play it nice. Oh, I was surprised he made that. Well, good speed. Yeah. His worst stroke of the match. Yeah, I agree. And that's also a mark of a champion. He has good timing. He knows when he can do that. Slid in off the rail. Uh, it looks like he's going to be 8-1 ahead so yeah that's it eight one too much time in the chair for Snigotsky he lost his field he's there not getting not getting the positions Popka Snigotsky Popka in the Popka Snigo in the Popka Snigel and the popka. <laughs> Snigotsky. And I know the word trap in like 10 languages. I, oh, yeah. What's it in Tagalog? Uh, I don't think there's a translation for it. Um, good question. I don't really know. <laughs> um, let me think, okay? Yeah. A blank stare from Alban Ocean. He's in the zone. Yeah. Is leading the match by eight racks to one and broke. within striking range. Is there is, is there any chance of Albin Ocean and Shane Baum Boeing to play in the final? No. Oh, no. in the final, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they got yeah and they're favorites to. For me, they're the favorites to get to the final. Yeah. Wow. Good break. Uh, hmm. Let's see. No shot on the two. Or it yeah, it does cut. But he, w he would need to swing that cue ball around. So he w was pointing to the second diamond near him where he stands. Is that for the cue ball route, if he's swinging it? I think so. Because he's looking at the pot. So there would be short, long, long and slide in between the balls. Yeah. In between the five and eight. One, two, three, four rails for the three. I guess that's what he's looking at, right? Exhibition shot. I think as long as you don't hit the eight, you'll be okay. Oh, he got the cue ball, but he missed the object ball. Okay, chance for uh, it's Nagotsky. Yeah, chan chance to play <laughs> to play a safety. The bank to his right doesn't work. He won't be able to get. Well, he's lining up as if he's playing the bank. Yeah. No safety. Playing safe. Bank. So he went from bank to safety. Now back to bank. I think the only thing he can do if he attacks is go into the three. I agree. Oh. Oh, he had a lot of room. Struck it nice. Yeah. A lot of turn on that ball. Look, I thought he needed to cut more. He, he, he probably. Or, or maybe, oh, excuse me, maybe he could, you can turn it with side, but right. that makes like, make, you know, it's, it's, it depends what you like. If you cut it a little more, you can, you can strike it a little firmer. Right. Yeah, he put a lot of uh, outside there. He turned that ball pretty good. Good shot. We've seen a couple of very nice comebacks in this tournament. Kazaki's against Tyler. 7-3. Seven, 7-3 three. Seven, three down, winning 9-8. Yesterday, Zielinski. 7-1 down against Neuhausen, winning 11-9. Who knows if Snigotsky can put himself on that list. 
I don't think at this point he'll be too worried about winning. He just wants to have a good 10, 15 minutes to right. get in the game. Yep. Agreed. A couple of rolls here and there. I think he'll be back in the game. Yeah, there it is. Alex, I'm seeing your posts on social media. Yes. I've subscribed Thank to you. the PeggyLion.net newsletter, right? Yes. Uh, what's going to happen? Uh, a lot of things here, Alex. Um, we'll be selling um, apparels. Uh, I'm going to come out with my line of cues. And one of the things that I'm going to do is... Um, we're gonna go hit the YouTube like I'm gonna. It's like you going into my mind. I will, <coughs> excuse me. I will do a voiceover in a lot of my shots, especially the one pocket shots. So basically, I'm gonna tell you guys why I play that shot. And it's kind of like going through my mind why I play the shot. Oh yeah. So stuff like that. Also, a uh, few drills to uh, help people their cue balls. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cue ball, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So you're teaming up with a couple of people? Yes, I am. Yes, okay, I am. Yeah. To uh, take I'm care of the, tec of, 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 uh, yeah, of the technique. Technique, technical, uh, yeah. computer, everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm nice. building the team Pegaline. So nice, yeah. cool. Yeah. We're looking forward. So Pegaline.net, subscribe. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, would you go for the bank here, Alex? Yeah, it's 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 a nice line. Yeah, he can go forward with the cue ball. Maybe yeah. played with a trace of right spin. Do yeah. you play this with a trace of right or just cut it a little more? I uh, just cut it a little more and just kind of like lag it because I uh, uh, there's safety there also to get three balls to hook him. But I don't think he's, he's going cutting. that round. Yeah. Well, if you're striking the ball that good, nah. Yeah, good point. I think you know maybe if he were, if it were seven seven, yeah. he would play the straight back, the bank. Yeah, I think so. But if you're playing, you know, that good, I mean, I guess you can play everything. <laughs> and the nice thing, what also also a thing, if you know you're going to be playing another match, quarterfinals, yeah. you know, another informed player, being up a two, you also want to test yourself a little bit. Right. Right play some fancy shot just to see if you get it I wonder if he's gonna go all the way to the rail to go around for the five four to the five yeah he did he, yeah he came far enough he came perfect yeah now very deep into the corner he wants to land just past the side pocket on the left would you play here the side pocket or the corner for the five? Oh, for the five uh, the, uh, the corner Corner, okay. Yeah, because I feel if I get very deep with right spin, I cannot scratch in the side. Yeah. Well, he went for the side, but he landed in the corner, so that's pretty good. <laughs> and what makes you think he played for the side? I well, think so, too. Yeah, I think he played for the side. Well, because if you're going to play for the corner, you're going to make sure you hit the, the, the last rail, the, the third rail. Yeah, you go very deep into yeah. the corner, yeah. So I think he played for the side there. But... I'm not 100% sure that's what it looks like to me. Well, what we do know is that he make he's making it look easy. Yeah. He's making it look like going to the final, like a true candidate to make it to the final. It would be his fifth time in a decade. That's, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, <laughs> pretty, pretty impressive. You're a former winner yourself, a yeah. former loser of the final yourself. Right. In 2003, you lost against Homan. Yep, yep, I and did. In 05, you beat Pei Wei Cheng. 04, right? 04. In 04, oh, right the year after. Okay, yeah. good. Um, Alvin beat me in the semis when he won it. So when he won the, his first title, he in beat 2014, me. In 2014? Yeah, he beat me in the final. I was going to take him outside, but uh, it's a little too big for me, so <laughs> I just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a player he is in the last decade. Pretty, pretty good. Did he get there? I think so. 
Yeah, he got there. Played it pretty careful. Yeah. So often, if you play, you play in a zone for position for the next ball, and often if you land not in the middle of the zone but to the side of the zone, yeah. then you're in the best position. Like right. the best position is not in the middle of where you play to. Right. Yeah, 92. And he's breaking, so. Too good. Yep. Too good. 11-5 from being 4-0 down against Steyer. A lot of um, Polish fans going to be sad if uh, Albin yep. wins this match. So. But it is what it is. So. Yeah, he took down another Polish player in the match after Steyer yesterday. He lost against... No, he won 11-9 against Daniel Marchel. Albinus had a break. Yeah. Leading the match by nine records. Another talented left-hander. Yeah, um, I saw that the kid missed the uh, shot to beat Albin. So. No, no, this was to go hill hill. Oh, yeah, to go hill hill. Ten nine. Yeah. I didn't see, but I heard it was uh, like a, a blunder. Some some said. Yep. It was Wrong a, choice. Yep. Interesting position. Watch your shot. Oh. I think I see something. Me too. I put that parallel to the four down the rail, and uh, nick the two ball. And just, you know, put the cue ball where that four is, just parallel to that four, and then yeah. I think it'll be okay. Like approximately towards the first diamond on the right, yes. on the top rail. Yes. It's not only that, if he hooks him, it's going to be hard to kick, because the nine is going to be in the way. Oh, he under hit that, way under hit that. Chance for Stigowski. Mm. Not not good. <laughs> Snigotsky. Snigotsky. You know ski? Ski not. Yeah. I, if you go to Aspen, you can go ski. Yeah. Snigotsky. Snigotsky. Yeah. Snigotsky. <laughs> I think the viewers, you know, not only you, but the people back home <laughs> won't go wrong anymore. Yeah. After this. Snigotsky. Ah. Matthias Snigotsky. You know, one of my favorite uh, Polish when it comes to stroke is uh, Mietzko Fotunski. Yeah, Fotunski. Yeah, he had one of the best strokes I ever seen. Yeah, very yeah. smooth. Look, nothing is working. Yeah. Opening up the seven. Mm. But it will be difficult to get from the two to the three. Okay, Alex. When... I'm on this spot, on Albin's spot, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to uh, create a little bit here. I think the uh, two ball off the seven on the uh, right. Oh, on the right, oh, yeah. yeah. He's looking to the, the two ball to the right. Yeah. But you say to the left, left. because that gives him a better position on the three ball, I yeah. think, yeah. I will, I'll probably play this for the fans. <laughs> yeah. But or or it looks also he could cut to the left and with a high ball a glance of the of the nine. Oh, that too. Or oh, you can avoid it. It looks like he's trying to avoid it. Nah. That's what it looks like. See? Oh yeah, you're right. Sorry. Good shout. Good shout. We all know who won that game. Yeah, Zielinski <laughs> leveling the score five each against <laughs> John Ling Cheng. Uh Definitely, uh, it's Nagotsky in top, tough position here, top spot. Can you see the two? Yeah, Alex? it yeah. looks like he can. Yeah, it looks like it. And he can strike the middle of the cue ball. Foul. Oh, uh, everything is going. Foul yeah. Everything is going uh, Albin's way, so. Yeah. Start the clock. Yeah, and it's very difficult. Um, no, it's very easy to be hard on yourself if if he goes on to lose this match, right? Right. So you play a tournament, you're on a good run, and then the last match you make a couple of errors, the other guy plays good, and then you go home thinking you blew it. 
<laughs> where basically you played a good match and you ran into a tough opponent yeah. who was in great form. I, I don't think uh, he will, you know, hard on, on himself here, Snigovsky. But uh, because uh, Albin is playing phenomenal, and, yeah. and beside that, he's not getting a lot of looks on the table. So even if he did, everything is tough. So true. I know how he feels. And this guy's just rolling ball like it's over the hole and shooting from, making from everywhere. He's breaking good, playing. When, when he do miss and he leaves the guy, he leaves his opponent in a tough spot. So yeah, everything is going right for him right now. A little straight. Wow. Yeah. I thought he, he'd come back a little bit, about a diamond, a little straighter on the four, because now he al he's also has to deal with the seven. Right now, I think for him right now, it doesn't matter where the cue ball lands. Yeah. <laughs> uh. And still, even though he's up by a lot, he, he, he's, he seems to be trying to finish clinically right right he's he's losing a little bit of feel see that is the right shot for these guys but for me i cannot reach this one so that's yeah. why i have to play a different way <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so i think but it, that is the right shot for tall people for sure <laughs> me i can never reach that yeah but there are pros and cons yeah <laughs> you know if you're if you're not as tall, it means that you have to bend less to see the line. Right. And I think it, it puts less strain on your neck and on your eyes. My question is, would you rather be tall or short? <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I think the con is a little bit more to the uh, short side. Okay, I got you, I got you. Uh, yeah. Who would expect... A uh, lopsided match like this. Yep, I didn't expect that at all. But Albin, Albin is being Albin right now. He's playing good. That's why he's been in the final four times for the last nine years. So Strong performance. Yep. So Lechner, his uh, fellow countryman, is 5-5 five five against Wu Kun Lin. And Chang now in position to take the lead again, 6-5. Looks like going right down to the wire there. I think... Ooh, it, yeah, tell me. I think it's long overdue. It's the, uh, one of the top right players right that right hasn't won the World Nine World too. Races. Maybe <laughs> that could be his year also, you know? Yeah. You never know. I mean, he hasn't won the uh, World title in a at all, so he's is, due. If you would have to name the best Taiwanese player now or before, of this era or before, who would that be? Who would have scared me most? Uh, uh, Yang Ching Soon. Yeah. But as a player, I think Feng Fang Chao is the complete player oh, out of all of them. Okay, a former world champion, Feng Fang Chao. Twice. He won it twice. Two times. He's now the um, uh, head coach in Taiwan. Well, yeah, n not a bad person to be a head coach for sure. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Yang Ching Soon is the one who gives you a lot of fear because this guy is fearless. He just he plays shots that we normal players don't play. No, at some point, this is in the late 90s, early 2000s, yeah. when Taiwan was you know, the leading nation over the Philippines, I feel. Yeah. Sh Yang Xing Chung, Xing Xing Yang, yeah. was, the, was the number one player. And at some point, I think he won like six out of ten national championships in right. a year. Yeah. So that comes to tell you how good he was. And then he quit. Yeah. He became a fisherman. S must be some, some fish. <laughs> 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 okay. Would you give it back? Well, I'm looking if, if the... Again. I think he can bank it to uh, the right of the three ball. I know how Albin's going to play this. From what I watch, he's going to 
kick this ball for sure and put the cue ball behind the three. But what's wrong with banking the two towards the three? I think the side pocket's in the way, Alex. I'm not sure, but... And if you played a hair thicker, like to land on the three and a nice cue ball speed? Probably, yeah. That's. But I would kick this one. It looks... It looks it laying perfect if I if you kick it, you know, from behind. It's hard for you to go wrong from kicking it, you know. And what do you kick? Yeah, side rail, kick yeah. it, then put the cue ball behind the three. Oh, okay, like a thin hit. Yeah. But I don't know. Maybe he see something here. The side box in the way, and uh, he played your shot. That's why he's. There and I'm here. You're <laughs> here, yeah. And let's let's say that it's pretty hard to see every angle from this monitor. Yeah. Can now you see? What? Can you see it? No, he's kicking. He's well, no, you can see it. I think he can stick. cut it. Huh? He can cut it. He can. And oh. he is cutting. I see. And trying to bump the four. Oh, he struck. Nice. Struck it pretty well. And uh, does it four go? If not, you can always play it in the side, right? Two so he, he now looked, Snigotsky, right? He squatted and he looked at the four. You, have. you know Mark Selby in snooker? Extension. When he's playing, his left eye is over the cue. But when he's squatting to see if it goes, he looks with his oh right really? eye. I didn't it's know it's that. so weird. You're talking about Mark Selby, right? Yeah. The four-time world champion. What do you think of his snooker game? Four-time world champion. If you're going to bet your own money, case game, who would you bet on? There, you have three uh, guys to choose from. Ronnie O'Sullivan, in their prime I'm talking about. Ronnie O'Sullivan, Mark Selby, or John Higgins. One game only, one game. Oh, one game. Yeah. Oh, in their prime, yeah. uh, Selby. Selby. Yeah. Uh, I'm taking John Higgins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's cl well in close, yeah. Only one game though. In his prime? Yeah. Selby like 5 years ago. Yeah. You know, he was the best maybe ever able to smother a game. Yeah. Like to close the game down right, like yeah. like a uh, 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 strangle snooker. Yeah. That would be nice to see um John Higgins and uh, Mark Selby in their prime. But, okay, it looks like he's going to be win another game from well, here. Uh, well, showing a lot of heart. Yeah. Mateus Isnigotsky. Uh, that's it. That's it, pal. You have to come with it. That cut on the two. Pap Papqua. Papqua? Puapka. 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 Wins the wreck. Yeah. Do you think so sometimes, you know, if I talk about a trap, there's a trap on the table, but there can also be a trap like in the mental game? Yes, like definitely. Like definitely. players always look to be very confident, and then I say, well, I think being confident, going to a competition with a lot of confidence is a trap. Yeah. I, I'm, I, I think, I mean, Popka right now. I'm in that spot right now. Popka. Popka. Because? Because? Uh, mentally, uh, I'm, uh, a lot of things happening and uh, I'm getting better day by day because I'm, ac I'm accepting who I'm becoming. Trading yeah. Five, what my physical, uh, the age is. I'm ac now I'm beginning to accept it. So now I'm beginning to learn from what I have. Instead yeah. of thinking back what in a day, what you don't have or what you had yeah. or what could have been, sure. Because back in the day, I was like, literally, you can put me in a fire squad if I lose, and then you guys can shoot me. I don't care. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, but now, it's the more you know, uh, the more fear you get. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. Uh, well, it's it's also what you practice right so if you if you decide you want to focus on on nine ball more right then you're going to get used again to to having to shoot <laughs> you, you know you know you can't set it any better because that's what it is that's what it is you i mean so it's not and then you think yeah i'm old and i lost my yeah. heart 
but it's also because you don't do that right. all the time. I understand. And yeah. these, these kids that play uh, nine ball all the time, you know, it's it's a shooting game. Right. So you think I should ask them to play for money or every one of them? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> just just get back in it and and relearn to be an attacking in an attacking state of mind. Right. Okay. Uh, I would give it back in this spot. Yeah, he's too close to the rail. Yeah. He can play, I think, yeah, he can play a cocked head double. Yeah. So you play like 80, 90% on the right with top spin and speed. So the cue ball will hug the rail. Yeah. And the two ball will come over the side pocket, run into the three and four, I think. You got a risk. Extra he's committed control. now. He has to play that shot. Yeah. And don't be shy when you stroke it. High karate, Diliberto calls it. <laughs> oh. If, is he going to get there? Is he going to get there? Nice wow. Shot. Nice shot. Wow. That is a very hard to do, especially when you're like too close on that rail. Yeah, That's very, very nice. Yeah. Very tricky also with the scratch. Yep. He hit that one really, really well. Who dares wins? What it did do, that shot, it tied up the six and seven. Yeah. Well, did he under hit it? No, the six hit the rail. Okay. And, and do you notice, like three, four times in this match, you say, did he under hit it? Yeah. And then it was just about right. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that's how good Elvin is playing. Yeah, you're right. Oh, it's going uh, aggressive right now. Move that five, put the cue ball behind the nine. Oh, another good safety from Snigotsky. Yeah. How's Snigotsky, yeah, yeah. Snigotsky. You're there. Yeah. You're Cup there. hundred more times, maybe. Well, I, get I right. think from now on, I don't know how many people are watching, <laughs> but if Snigotsky goes somewhere to play, like yeah. in the States or abroad, everyone will be like, Snigotsky. It's Snigotsky. What about the other... Okay. Yushishin. That's this the toughest. You know Yushishin, yeah? Cool. Yushishin, of Lefty. course. Of course. He's, a, oh, he's so my favorite Polish. Uh, uh, Polish player. Yushishin. Good. Almost. Uh. So, this was the... Um, it wasn't urgent, this kick shot for Albin. Yeah. Six, seven, tied up. Three, four, difficult. Yeah, okay, it's going this route. Mm. Snowball yep. looking to get a second foul. And then a third. Unlikely against Elbin Ocean, as good as he kicks. Well, to be honest with you, I mean, this is not a bad spot for Snigowski. Um I Albin cannot do much. Unless if you draw that cube right behind that three and and the tubal will go around just past the uh Yeah. Wow. Did, did he did it? He did. Did he make wow. it? Wow. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So oh, it's such a nice feeling. Yeah. Perfect spot to put the cue ball behind the four. And um look. Under pressure, like a big match, being able to control things a little bit makes you feel comfortable, but feeling like he can do everything must be great. Right, that, right, right. It, that, that's where Elvin is now. Yep. Okay. Uh-huh. You, uh, you need the magician here right now. How do you like kicking one rail, long rail, but just soft? Because I feel if you hit it soft, if you don't make it, you know, you have a chance to not leave anything. I, uh, I, I like that. I like that. And besides, um, it, it doesn't do you any good if you hit it hard. Well, I should take it back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I should take it back. All right. Okay, uh, Alex, when I'm playing really confident, yeah. I don't care where that four go. I'm, I'm going to try to put that cue ball right by purple five. If I'm feeling really the two good. rails, yeah. yeah. 
but it looks like it's not going to play that. It's going to put the cube right behind that six, seven, nine. Hit it a little bit chubby. And uh, he's okay. Yeah, he's okay. And Albin is okay? Uh, I uh, well, this is a very tricky one. Well, the eight ball catches the four, so there's no worry there. Yeah. And he can swing it around to five. He's going to give distance. No snooker. Just distance. Well, this is not a gimme safety, but it's there. I was just loaded with a lot of uh, right here, uh, Alex. I won't even worry about scratching. Just from this spot, I will load it with a lot of right, and maybe that four will go towards the five. And hopefully, I hook him behind the nine. Like that. Shot. Towards the five, and... Did, nice. did he hit that one good or what? <laughs> and imagine when the Albin plays a jump shot here after that good safety from Isnigovsky and Albin makes a jump shot. I wonder how would you feel then? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a you know, theory. I don't know if you like these rules. We still play with the jump shot, but you can only use it three times per match. And you can't use your jump cue if you hook yourself. And you can't use but your you can jump, use jump cue. Oh, if you hook yourself. You can't use a jump cue. Uh, and yeah. second thing, you can only play three jump jump cues in one match. I like it, but it's a little too complicated for the bigger f audience. Right, right, right. Well, I mean, like it takes time to for them to understand. But just a thought. Yeah, I see the thought behind it yeah. for sure. So we'll see the Efren kicks back in the old days. Yeah. You know, we don't see that anymore. Or, or, and I think the carbon cue manufacturers would be happy to just, you can only use your jump cue to, uh, your break cue to jump. Right, that's good because also. Because the break cues jump pretty good. Right, right. So the extreme jumps would be taken out of the game. Yeah. Shot. Played it like he meant it. Okay, well, the safety is not... Well, Alex, this is what we live to do for one pocket. You play this two rails for sure, and then safety. Well, the carom on the seven is the my most certain shot. Carom on the seven, that's very difficult. No, it's a, it, uh, lo it looks like it's, oh, it's a dead ball. You can probably straight bank it. Oh. I guess that's all she wrote, folks. What do you think? Well, pretty positive, pretty certain. Yeah. Four balls for that Elbin after a from a high class performance. Yeah. From where it's, it's Nagoski spot, that's hard to do, like over. Overcut the, it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was probably working to open the angle, and yeah. then, you know, you always do too much. Yeah, well, I mean. Mateus play played his heart off, uh, but hey, sometimes he can't do anything. It's just like yeah, that's the way it is. You just gotta move on and next tournament. He got bulldozered by Ocean. Extension, yeah. please. What a performance for Albin Ocean. Yeah. Well deserved. Well deserved, and he shows us. Yeah. In what form he's in for the people that didn't know yet. 11-3. We'll take a break. Alex, thanks a lot for doing the commentary oh, with thank me. thank you, for Alex. For sitting in. I'm looking forward to your first newsletter. Yeah, from pegalion.net. And the next match on this table will be John Mora against Mario He. That's uh, a nice one. Thank well, you. If, if you're bored, you can sit in later if you want. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Alex, for having me here. Thank you guys for listening to both Alex. Uh, see you guys soon. Okay, bye.
diamond tables are designed and manufactured from the highest quality. Sustainable hardwoods utilizing world-renowned designs. Diamond tables are unparalleled for playability and durability. After all, they are designed by players for players. This championship is being played with the new RMS tournament set. Featuring a unique molecular structure, it guarantees razor-sharp precision and unsurpassed longevity. Unquestionably the best pool balls in the world, this set is available in a TV and a value pack version, as well as in the new My RMS range of ball and Q cases. Now you can bring and play with the best ball set everywhere you go. My RMS, bringing new dimensions to your billiards experience.
for break. John Moore wins the lag. Thank you, first rack. John Morris a break. The penultimate day of these nine ball world championships in Kielce, Poland. We've seen a phenomenal performance by Elvin Ocean in the previous match, beating Snigotsky and his fellow countryman Mario He now with ball in hand after Mora went in off, scratched. The man at the table, the favorite to clinch the victory. But Mora is a cool customer. Showed that on table one against Shaw yesterday. With a very clinical out in the last rack, Hill Hill. A lot of heat. In general, players won't choose to move the cue ball too much. But from this side, a little further actually, you'd have the angle to swing around to six and nine. An experienced campaigner, Mario He. Has won many titles in Europe. And on the main stage, many deep finishes and victories twice in the World Cup of Pool, but that was doubling with Elben Ocean. Most definitely has it in him to go all the way in one of the majors. Extension call. Cool long way still two matches today if he were to win the first one and then two matches tomorrow almost as if John Mora who came out of his chair slowly remembered that today the shot, lock, shot clock is in use. 30 seconds to choose, prepare, and execute. If he doesn't hit it too hard, this, he has some chance for a resave. Just doesn't want to hit it full. I was Stop thinking right. about a one real kick and then with the right spin opening up the angle he played something different. <laughs> was in a tight spot, the glued to the nine. And on table three, the third Austrian, 
An impressive three Austrians in the last 16. Max Lechner about to go 9-8 up against Wu Kun Lin. Easy draw. Oh, follow two rails. Excuse me. Look at his Q action, his back arm. Sort of stops the Q, the backhand stops, but he doesn't squeeze the Q. As you would expect, Winning the wreck. Thank you. And then we'll get to see the big man's break. He breaks the balls well. Probably in the... Well, of all the 128 players, I think definitely in the top eight of hardest breakers. Very difficult with that cut break on the one to apply much speed and power. Rack two. Mario here to break. Leading one rack to nil. A lot of action, but not the right type of action. Always looking to make the one in the side. The position more than the jump, the challenge here for Mora. Do it again. Natural born right hander who has had to learn to play with his left hand. And worked himself right back to world class level again. Pretty amazing. And that's a pretty amazing jump on the two. Now, there's not much value in taking on this difficult three ball. As that pocket for the four is blocked by the six. Extension call. Nice, did well from where he was. But I expect Mario, he isn't too unhappy. He's well playable, this kick shot. Half ball hit. Three towards the nine. And look what he did with the cue ball. Nice. The type of shot that Mario he played, 
TV table lends itself well for that. Needs to do something. It's not like John Mora has given up the table just like that. Straight in on the three, no pocket for the four. This is tough. Extension call. Very missable. The type of combination where if you look before playing the three, you think, yeah, I'll handle that. And then when you go down, you can really start losing that point of aim on the four. Look how he hit that. Oh, majestic. It went in as clean as was possible. Stay away from the long rail and keep an angle. So you will advance no more than a diamond, I feel. Or all the way up table if that side pocket is not a problem. Confident. Striking the ball good. the speed just about perfect nice kick safe and from there that stop shot on the three the combination that he hit so purely it's looking good for Mario he now waiting while the balls are wrecked He'll try and think about how to hit that break. He failed to pocket the one in the side. So you manipulate the one ball, the deflection of the one ball by the thickness of the hit, but more so by the amount of draw on the cue ball. So in the previous break, the one ball came over the side pocket if he'd hit the same break with more draw, one ball would have gotten more topspin and maybe have made the, the side pocket. Rack three. But I think he'll change Very the great. hit also. Hitting two racks to nil. He doesn't use too much draw on his break. Wild ball flies into the corner pocket. Angled on the one. He's looking to see if that two ball, let's wait for the overview. If the two ball passes the six in the pocket top right, and it does. So stun. It looks like he, he tends to end up a little to the too far to the left with the cue ball. So if he plays this with outside, that wouldn't help him. He's going to check the angle of the cue ball off the short rail. But he has 
he had changed his mind already try to draw back shot find the gap mind the gap they say with roadworks find the gap if you're playing safety and it's a good one twice across towards the second diamond on the right little higher beautiful wow And that's the difference between today and the days before. A shot clock. So this type of kick shot would have been studied much longer. Wow. Beautiful. The pot. Missed it too. Extension cool. Let's see by how much. Yeah, quite a margin. Probably with 10, 15 percent less speed, he would have created the angle to open the two. Shot. Former Derby City Bankpool champion. He knows his lanes. Nice effort. And a good opener for Mora. It's rare to see John Mora not show up in a match. So my point is, he's a very consistent player. Plays with a lot of heart, resilience, a lot of fight. You really have to beat him. Good player to put your money on if you're looking to bet on a match to go all the way. But of course, it's very break dependent. Especially um, Mario, he's break. A powerful break. Not so successful yet, but if that starts working, could go fast. Cross seven eight nine to the same pocket. To get his first point on the board. Played a good safety. He jumped and rattled the two. 
And with relative ease, Mora books his first wreck. Mora getting Rack ready four. to break. John Mora to break. I spoke of his physical issues that he had, reason why he had to switch arms. So he now plays with his left arm strokes. But just for the break, he goes back to his right. Ay, ay, ay. And again, a scratch. Okay, he hit it a little too thin. Lost the cue ball forward. Ball but if we see the replay, it was unlucky. Off of the nine, then a bump of the four. And an easy table for he. Especially if that three ball goes past the seven, and seems like it does. Now he doesn't necessarily need to get close to the five. So if he has an angle on the four, just drops the four in and a long straight in on the five would be good with the seven as close to the pocket as it is. Tricky angle. If the eight isn't in the way, I would like to go up and down. And he can. Hitting the ball good. And there's two scratches on the break by John Mora. Do come in handy. At the start of the match, opening rack, ball in hand. That's what you would always like. Really, if you could start every match with a ball in hand, that's huge. Play for the side pocket. Right. Three one up. Right. And the good thing for Mora is that they're playing a race to eleven. There is time. Just needs to hope that Mario he doesn't find the sweet spot and the sweet speed and unleashes with a three pack or more.
rack five. Mario here to break. Leading three racks to one. Looking to unleash. No corner ball, no one ball. And an open shot for Mora with enough angle on that one. And I said that before I had seen that the pocket for the two ball is blocked by the four. So he has a marginal angle on the one. But he needs to do more than just go towards the two. What's the shot? Oh, nice, very nice. Threading the needle there. It was a very narrow passage. A good hit, good leave for Mario He. Even harder for Mora to find a defensive play from here. Just looking at the combination. Slice of fortune for Mora this time. I think. But if Mario He can hit the two ball straight in the face, then there's a safety available. Nice, nice kiss shot. Yeah. He picks it up where Albin Ocean left it after his lopsided victory against Snigotsky. <laughs> and on table one, the applause that we hear is the exit of Viktor Zielinski. A lot of appreciation for the young Paul. But it's Junlin Chang who advances. Not a surprise. One of the main contenders, the big names. He's through to the last eight. Difficult speed here for Mario He. If he chooses to go one rail, just to do short, I think almost two rails coming around the seven, it's a little easier to judge. Underhit it. Extension call. I 
extension call an extra 30 seconds to think about what he could do he can cut the six thin enough to put it underneath the seven and go twice across with the cue ball and end up somewhere in the upper right hand corner well or that that was on with a good speed. Nice. Yes, such a nice technique, Mario. He for me of all the top European players. He has a very nice balance between um, conditioned, structured by the book and, and his own form and talent. He can roll or he can punch. No punch. Wow. Yeah, just when I said that about his technique, someone might have noticed, if you watch his tip, when it came back, didn't come through the ball straight. So he lined up straight, but he didn't deliver straight. A big, big miss. And who knows what that might mean in the context of the match. Wins the Often a miss like that will cost you more than just a one. Rack six. John Mora to break. Mora in Frank the game. Could have, should have been 4 1 for Mario He, but he missed at nine. So now breaking. Mora looking to make Mario He pay. I'm now joined by James Georgiadis. How are you, Alex? I'm all good. Oh. In a groove. In a groove. Yeah, watching a lot of nine ball. Yes. Um, a different feel to the matches compared to yesterday. Ball in hand. Shot clock makes clock. a big difference. Yesterday we've seen many long safety battles. M ten innings back and forth multiple times. Today it's different. So the table's breaking a little bit easier today as well? Um, no. No, not necessarily. No, not, not that. But players have less time to decide and a little more often than previously will opt for an aggressive shot or play a safety, like more of a containing safety. Yep. So they play something that's good enough instead of finding something that's really tight. So we're doing uh, 30 seconds and... 30 seconds and another 30 seconds. Yeah. Lovely. How's the start of this match been? Uh, Mario He striking the ball perfectly up until that nine ball that he just missed. Just then, yes, I did see that one. So do you reckon with the um, with the 30 seconds ex uh, time frame, you feel people have to play a little bit more aggressive in a way in terms of the initial reaction or choice? Um, well, sometimes you run out of time. 
for example, in the previous match, Alban Ocean, who was playing like nigh, nigh perfect, he was playing really good. On two occasions, he, he sort of ran out of time and then played the, the a containing safety. Just yeah. maybe, maybe sent the object ball there, but at least distance, cue ball on the rail. Yeah, not looking for a position, just trying to get it within an area and, yeah. and then take your medicine. Well, uh, John had a good win last night against um, Jason. Yeah, beat him 11-10. Yeah. Nice run. I didn't see the run out. I yeah, no, it was good. Yeah, it was a little bit funky towards the end. A couple of balls were tricky. Um, but yeah, he did a good job under the whip. So James Giorgiades represented Australia here. Tough action, right? <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. I'm still uh, not really excited for the trip home, but we're going to do it. Isn't it incredible what John's done in terms of his game, you know? You know, playing right-handed his whole life. And then a, was it a couple of years now, he's changed to left hand? Yeah, and he's playing world-class level. It's crazy. It's crazy, yeah. yes. Full credit to him. He's definitely um, a smooth stroker, you know? Yeah. Doesn't really try to power it too much, does he? Does it? No. He's n I think his strength is his concentration more than anything. Mm. Concentration and, and bottle performing under pressure, but that basically comes down to concentration. Yeah, he's definitely in got good bottle. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah especially in last night's uh, match towards the end. I'm pretty sure he, um, he broke around the last two as well, so... I reckon there was a safety battle at 10 8. He won that. And then I'm pretty sure he um, broke and clear the last two. Yeah. Well, he's running the balls here after he missed that bank, which he took on pretty swiftly. There's levels. Yeah, John is one of those players that's very good at rolling the ball. I think, you know, many players are good at rolling the ball over distance. Because <laughs> they're forced to, in a way. Yeah, until yeah. it's 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost a trademark shot for him. Yeah, pretty much that finish last night um, against uh, Jason. Pretty much every ball was just nice floating speed. Yeah. He's always landing on good shape. You know, didn't have to force anything, which was good. Yeah, and then, so if there would be a downside to his game, so I say he's consistent, resilient, tenacious with a lot of bottle, and the downside could be, hey, does he have something in his eye? A twitching eye. Did you hear that of Tyler? Yes. Okay. Um, Rack seven. Yeah, so, so he's not an explosive. He's not as explosive so as other players. Yes. That's he correct. doesn't have the... Well, he doesn't choose to play very aggressive compared to other players. So... So you don't see him win like with big scores. He's, yeah, he's happy to grind it. Yeah. Mm. So he breaks right-handed. Yeah. Jumps left and plays left. I like it how he um he actually takes off his glove while he breaks as well. Yeah. So he's going to put it back on, and I reckon that's like a maybe it's like a little trigger for himself in terms of to get himself ready for his first shot. You know, he's got to put his glove back on after he takes it off during he, during your break. Yeah. Maybe it's like a little trigger for him in terms of getting the zone. Maybe. Maybe, but the boys need to figure out how to work that one ball because it's failing to find a pocket. So pretty much all, drakes are, all breaks have been a little bit dry. Difficult speed here. Since that missed nine ball, he doesn't ooze the calmness and confidence anymore. Wasn't an easy shot, of course, this. But the chemistry of this match has changed. The runaway attempt from Mario, he has failed. Banked two in between the four and nine. 
hit the four. Don't make the three. Has he left the putting angle? You'd be pretty gutted if you've left it. Yeah, he was. Yeah, it looks like it. And here's that slow, that slow, Ooh. slow roll over, full distance. These are never fun. Yeah, that. Meet John Mora. <laughs> Still a little bit of work to do. Six is partly blocked by the seven. Well, it's not blocked, but needs to be precise. Yeah, you want to kind of get as flat as you can on this six ball when you get to it. Somewhere around that break line would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, or if he has a nice angle off the five to bump the seven. Mm, that's beautiful. So let's see if he leaves himself almost straight or with an angle. Uh, for the bump, I would have liked more angle. And trying to come off the short rail and kiss into the seven? Yeah, yeah. with a rolling ball. He might still play that, but now he needs to stun and be precise. So somewhere around the nine would have been nice. Yeah. Center ball, right spin. Nice. No, he he can still stay low on the seven. In general, I think most players in general like to stay on the short rail side of the ball. Maybe not. <laughs> no, 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 I said in, in general. In general. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, because uh, I prefer to be on the short rail for this one on the slick cloth, because then you don't have to calculate for the arc so much. Yeah. Off this off this rail. Nice speed. Yeah, for players back home, you know, they might have experienced playing on a new cloth. They probably have, but this is you know one step beyond just a new cloth the TV table. It's a whole different ball game. Your cue ball is going to be all over the place. Yeah, it's good fun, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're playing good. Um, who won the who won the first match on table one? I haven't had a look. Uh, Zielinski lost, unfortunately. Ooh. Chang got him. Close or...? Uh, well, pretty close in stats. In the end, Chang pulled away. I think I saw 11-7. Uh, same pot success, same break success. Maybe Zielinski didn't get the positions, but he lost in the safety battle also. Like he had three, uh, six failed safety attempts where Chang had three. But that's high class, Cheng. Mm. Yeah, he played really well against Ko as well. I think he beat him 11-5. Yeah, now Wong. The smooth operator from Vietnam is playing against Shane. He plays so... Well, have you seen anything of him? Did we do the first match here? No, I was watching it in the room. Yeah, he... He played very well, didn't he? Yeah, he plays good. And, yeah. and I, I've spoken with people around and they said, yeah, I saw him play in Atlantic City. He was all right. Yeah. Some said that they had seen that quality, but most people said they hadn't. But here he's playing like he owns the building. Well, he does own a pool room back home. He's, um, he's, he smooths it in as well. He doesn't really power it. Unless he needs to. Yeah. Because that's the thing with... Uh, um, unknown play like non-elite players mm. who play smooth then you if you're a little bit cynic you think yeah just wait and see what you do when you need to power up but he's he does that good as well 
cross corner bank as a shot to nothing it's a little too sharp I feel if he if the windows open to bank it cross side where the five ball is he would leave himself a makeable cut on the three mm. yeah I would have tried to um I was thinking that, but then I was making sure to focus not to hit the two too hard, not to gain too much speed, because it was always a good chance for it to track towards that corner. I don't know. I mean, he hit this so poor. I think he did play. You reckon he played the bank? The bank, yeah, the bank as a shot to nothing. It needed more speed, but because of that angle, he sort of deaccelerated. Yeah, which which lost the turn on the two yeah, ball as otherwise, well. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense where the two ball ended up. Even when you snooker, you... Mario, he here, the favorite to make it. And he's using his break here as well. Must be relieved, John Mora. Strong opening face by Mario He now. I'm not saying he was absolutely guaranteed to make that two, but he just doesn't look the same player since he missed the nine. Would you have played like that? Or would you Yeah. Yeah. Or with inside? Yeah. You know, both good. Just didn't hit it as he wanted to, but this is the perfect wake-up call. Like, play a sub-par shot and not run into trouble because of it. Excuse me. What's going on? Just a little teaser. You know, the five's hanging. He's just trying to make it interesting. So do you jump it straight with a little draw or jump it on the left side, on his right? Yeah, I like that one. It might die on the short rail if you do that. What's going on? What is going on? This is really far. Extension tool. The jump on the five ball. Well, if he makes it, he should miss a scratch. If he, yeah, I think so. If he makes it, he'll miss the scratch. Shot. Wow. The resilience of John Mora. I mean, it's all self-inflicted, but <laughs> he's really digging deep. Are we going to bank this six now? I like him banking the six. Mm. I think after those two shots, you might as well. You know, he can play a very controlled cue ball. He might be just playing the six at the top row. Oh, he's banking it. Good shot. He's a former Derby City bank pool champion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> after seeing that. Yeah. <laughs> Needs a good stroke here. Yeah. You can be worried here if the cue ball slowing down if mm. you played with top. It's a bit fuller than he wanted. I think that's a little bit of the shot clock as well. Uh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Because he probably could have played that with high left and trying to land on the left yeah. long rail and play the combo maybe. But maybe he's going to play a bank again. Yeah, he played for the combination. I think he put it Oh, well, that's a good point, actually. It's all going a little bit fast, so it's difficult for the players to switch from no shot clock to shot clock, as it is for me, or for us. Mm. We have less time to look and discuss. Definitely, I think. yeah. yeah I, think I think looking back, he's probably wanted to play that seven with a touch of left. 
Yeah. Try and land on the left long rail and then yeah. play the combo. Yeah, or as quick as he played the carom, m maybe he thought the carom was a good idea and he mm. had decided to just leave it for the carom. So he wins the race. Yeah. Being so straight on the seven. Correct. An eventful eight track. When you give your extension calls, just give them to me because if I don't hear it, I just pull away. Yes, of course. Yeah, you don't, you haven't called a push or an extension if it's not confirmed by the referee. Eight racks on the board, race to seven for a place in the quarterfinals. We'll be back in a little bit. Thank you. Rack nine. Mario here to break. Scores are tied. Four racks each. Four four after an eventful eighth rack. 
and you would think it looked like that was Mora's wreck, but he lost position. Definitely a little bit of shot clock in that one, that's for sure, in that yeah. last wreck. He's actually breaking uh, even a little bit more in the centre than other players, Mario. That's the first break that I've seen from him. He's probably like a ball and a half in from the line. Yeah, it breaks very much with centre ball. Good clean pot. He took a timeout after this, after the previous wreck. Needs to recompose himself. Just have a little bit of angle on the five for next for the play to six in the same pocket. Yeah, you would like to be where the cue ball is now. Mm. And then just go to center table, angle on the six, come around to nine. How's the, um, the, how's the pockets been playing? So we've been playing nice? Yeah, nice. Not that much tighter than in the beginning. Yeah, it's a good pocket size and really tight enough. You know, on a TV table with the camera close up, you'll see a ball hit the rail and slide in. And it makes you think that the pockets are big, but that's not the case. Just the slick conditions. Little stretch, extension on the cue. Oh, I can get there. He made that stretch look easier than I thought it would be. Yeah, he's a little bit taller than Pagelan from the other night. <laughs> Which is the next next match as well? Is it FSR? Uh, yeah. FSR waits. FSR against Grape. Interesting match. Nice open table there and no, nice clean up. Yeah, 5-4. Thanks, sir. He's not really applying much, uh, much English, is he? He's just more hitting it flat ball off the break as well, Mario. Yes. Yeah, he's very good at making that cue ball um, stay flat. Find the right thickness and making it go up and down. From long rail to long rail. On table one, Shane with the cut on the eight. Looking to level the score. If he handles the kiss on the nine. And Mohammed Sufi, the Syrian born, living in Germany, 2 1 up against the Botkovsky. Rack 10. Mario Heath break. Leading five racks to four. He's a, he's a lot more centered than I yeah, thought. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Now I see it. Yeah, so when you're looking to enter the UK Open or the European Open, some other tournament, um, and you're trying to figure out this break at home, so the Push parameters, out. the variables are the distance where you put the cue ball. If you're going to break more with a flat ball and speed, or are you going to try and manipulate that one ball with more cut and draw? And probably you'll find that one of those variants feels a little more natural than the other, then that's the one for you. John, your choice. Hmm. Is this one of those little bait shots that we were talking about the other day? I don't like it because... I don't think I'd be taking it. You're not supposed to play it. Then you look at what the safety could be, and that's clipping on the left. And then you need to avoid the eight ball on the way back. But he does line up. 
Yeah, if he misses the eight, he, he'll be laughing, wouldn't he? Gee, is wow. this modern wow. day nine ball? What a shot. Man, 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 man. That's it. That's a gorgeous shot. He hit that beautiful, didn't he? You know, I can play decent still. I'm a little older. No, and then sometimes I flirt with the idea of getting in competition a little bit more. But the game has changed. That's a beautiful stroke. Paul. Mm. And, and especially after seeing some balls hang and then just pop that in, you know, yeah. so smooth. All in. And to get shape as well. Yeah, that's the bottle we spoke about. And the quality playing from the rail. Looking to play a hair of inside. I wonder if um, I wonder if Mario would have took it on, or if he was going to play the clip safety around the eight. Good question. You know, had Mora given it back, we or I would have said that he had trapped himself, or it was tight at least the safety. Very good shot by Mora. He also plays those um, two-man tournaments that they have in the States so much, where they play over the course of three days with a very high entry fee. So he's used to that intense heat and pressure. Nice strike there to get the arc into the rail there. That was beautiful here. It's time of the ball, nice. Think with the high ball, go to the right side. But he plays left-handed, so maybe we'll come back to the left side. This side for him is a little less advantageous. He might even play right-handed. Because sometimes he does still play a few shots with his opposite hand now. He makes it look easy and he's so smooth mm. that it looks like nothing special is going on. Mm. But he speared that opening shot in. They almost count double those racks. Where you beat your opponent to the shot. Well, especially internally, doesn't it? Yeah. Five each. So who's your money on to win the whole thing? I think I need to have a look, good look at the draw. Let me have a quick look. Give me a second. Yeah, and have a look at the score on table one. Well, it should have been 2-2, two, two. and I think it's now 3-1. Yeah, 3-1, and uh, in a position, one. No problems on the table. Yeah, Back after Shane um, tried to nudge that nine over, three. lost a bit of shape, and Scores left it hanging. Five racks each. Yeah, so if this goes 4-1 for the Vietnamese, if he runs out, maybe I'll have to revise my call. Who have you got? Well, I had SVB, but he's in trouble. Early days, he might be in trouble. This is even better what Mora does because he, he's making the corner ball. Mm. It's not the first time this match. He's playing with a little bit more, I feel like he's applying a little bit more English as well. English and draw. Mm. He's not really pounding him, he's just smoothing it. No, that, that, that's it. It'd be good to... If if it, oh, sorry. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> if you play with spin and draw, you, you can't hit it as hard. You want to have a transition between the balls. Can you get to where it is right now, the cue ball? Difficult. 
play two rails and m try and just miss the six? Yeah, with a high ball. Yeah, he'll track towards the five. It's going to be close mm. if he plays that shot. Could play one row into the eight as well. I like that. I like that a lot if he's not frozen. A thoughtful Shane van Boning in the chair. A little bit worried. Doesn't make it look like a whole lot, Mora, but the devil is in the detail. He does all the little things right. Looks like SVB is in a little bit of trouble. 4-1 for one, for one. Amazing player. Yeah, Mr. Smooth just wants a little bit of angle here on the seven so he can uh, get some nice shape on the eight. Extension call. Doesn't hurt to take your extension even if you don't even need it. Just to take a few seconds of composure. Yeah. It's not like you can get it for the next rack. You only get one per rack. He wants to make sure he hits the long rail here so he bounces off and leaves himself a little bit of angle. Otherwise, it's going to land a little bit too flat. Little bounce. He just stunned that a little bit, didn't he? He didn't quite high it enough. Yeah. yeah if, if you pay attention, like in pool, players sometimes have difficulty to be consistent with their topspin to get a true acceleration. Well, he needs it here. Well, he just had a practice shot before. Let's look at the cue ball. Yeah, that had a nice acceleration. Big difference, that strike. It's almost like if I play that type of shot, uh, it's almost like I, I'm aiming for the ceiling. So I'm trying to miss you in a way. Well, you, <laughs> well be, you're not going to miss you. No, try you're not. it, you try set it, it up, to. yeah. And and I'll tell people, try and miss you. But you never can. You never can, <laughs> and then you get real topspin in the ball. It's a completely different reaction, isn't it, off the white, off the cue ball. Very good stuff by John Mora. All a consequence of the push out that he played. Was a good push out. John Mora wins the round. But Mora called his bluff. Spared in a beautiful shot on the two. And winning now two comp two wrecks in a row, keeping he away from the table. The winner of this match plays the winner of Alexa Pechel from Serbia and Niels Fein from the Netherlands. And I'm looking at Botkovski and Sufi, who are now battling the Syrian and the Polish. Their winner will play Alwan Ocean, who beat Snigotski 11-3. Let's see if he um, let's see if he tracks this one ball towards that top right corner pocket again. See if we can get some good shape because he looks like he's using that English to try and manipulate that one ball a little bit more. Leading six racks to five. And Shane's got a good chance to get himself back into the match. Uh, after being 4-1 down, got a good look to get 4-2. Nice little kiss on the 5 to leave himself a chance for the 2. It's a little bit easier to the previous ball that he pumped into that corner pocket. It would be nice if he can just make this one on the top right, 
Um, hopefully the three can just baby it into the side. Yeah, that's a hard part here. Just floating it in is not enough. It's even it needs to come away from the long rail, and it's easy also to do too much. And then leave maybe leave yourself a bank or something. Yeah, well, better too much than too little. Better too much than too little. The cut is still on. Slightly off angled. But you can see how many of those long roll ins he's already made. With his opposite hand. <laughs> yeah. Extension call. I think he has more chance to bank it if he crosses it than if he stiffs it. Cross it and open the bank. Perfect. Beautiful. Should just be able to. Hey, he's fine. No issues here at all. Yeah, come back to where he is now. Or a little further. Could even play the seven in the side if he lands flat enough on the five. You're even tempted to, temp to play these ones, uh, swing it around the table. Who? On, the, on these tables sometimes, swing this one around three rails. Um, yeah, well, not with this angle. If it's a little bit lower? Yeah, if it's a little bit lower. Um, I've done it because it feels so nice to make some extra Mil yards with the cue ball. <laughs> extra mileage. Yeah. Just to let the cue action out a little bit. But it needs to be an absolutely free shot. He's definitely not scared of rolling him in, is he? Yeah. <laughs> three in a row all of that push out by Mario he and again it wasn't a weak push out it was just a very courageous choice for Mora to play it Double his lead for a 7 5 lead in the race to 11. John Mora is cruising. A nice out, and it comes to show that confidence it doesn't come. I mean, you can try and wait for it to come, but John Mora went out to get it. Yes, from that perfect long two ball, which created that out, and then. Um Pretty much same thing with the opening shot in that rack and then a nice bank on the nice cross bank on the three. Be nice if we can get a still another, you know, still another one here, eight three. Looking handy. Looking handy, yeah, he's looking real good. You feel that the upcoming wreck is a big one. Might be the difference between 11-7 and 8-8. Eight, eight. Rack 13. John Morris to break. Leading seven racks to five. So let's see if that one ball misses the side pocket again to track towards the corner. And if he can make that corner ball, the seven. Missed the wing ball. Okay, Mario E. Back in the game. He's got some time in the chair. Not sure if the two or three are wide. No, they're definitely off. 
um, off in terms of could be makeable. Not as easy as what it looks. Are we going to see some attacking or are we going to see some safety? Yeah, is this a good enough safety? No. Definitely short of speed. Yeah, and he looked a little jumpy in his execution. Now off of the left side of the one, the cue ball could track if he wants to, to the left of the five. Miss the five, fall behind the six perhaps, and put the one ball near the second diamond on the right. Or maybe a lane for the one ball to go all the way up table. But I believe that five ball becomes bigger than Beautiful to miss the kiss. Yeah, very nice. He's played a couple of those in this match. And actually, th it's the same type of stroke as those long rollings. Mm, very similar. Like distance and a rolling cue ball. He ju judges these really well. Not sure if he's left a uh, little one kick underneath. Nice hit. Not too bad. And not enough room on the lower side of the four, I feel, to really get underneath with speed. Or maybe there is. He might be babing and trying to use the four as a, as a blocker. Looks like he's nicking it, actually. Big chance. Mora will find himself in trouble after this. Okay, this cluster will be opened, so much is sure. Would you be trying to hit the, the upper side or the bo bottom side? No, of the, the, the bottom side. Trying to let the white ball slide down? Yeah, well, more like bumper pull. <laughs> like 15 kisses in one second. Okay. Not easy, though, for Mario He, who's been in the chair so long. And he hasn't quite got natural shape. He's going to have to work it a little bit to get on that two ball. Needs a big draw stroke here if he's going to draw it off the long round. Extension cool. And this is where that shot clock gets a little bit funky now. Yeah, but uh, a draw stroke, the eight ball is big. Looks like he's loading up. Maybe swinging around long round, long round, play the two in the same pocket. Layer it up a little bit. I don't think he's going to play high. Maybe he just wants to let the stroke out. No, he's going high. Sounded a little heavy, the contact. A little heavy, and also playing with topspin and speed on a TV table. That Cuba will slow down a lot after the short rail. But I like his choice nonetheless. Gave himself a lot of room for the Cuba to land in. Big shot. Make sure to see the two. Yeah, big shot. Played with a bit of overspeed. He might get lucky in case he misses. Nice shot. That's a good shot. We spoke about the confidence builder for Mora, the two ball from the rail after his push out. This could be the confidence booster for Mario He. Beautiful shot. Three matches on table two. 
in this afternoon session and then one in the evening it's one of the four quarterfinals still to be decided it's definitely a beautiful two ball that he played up the rail with that overspeed oh yeah it's always tricky when you've got to punch them in yeah it's it the thing with these champions, you know, pressure can be too high, but this is still manageable, absolutely. But when put under pressure, they'll come with a response. And we just saw it. Probably wanted to have a little bit of angle here. It's probably landed that awkward, awkward flattish. Yeah. Yeah, so if he would draw, he would get close to the eight ball. Or he can cheat the pocket and accept an angle. No cheat, just accepting the angle. Just accepting. Keep your eye on the ball. So, remind me, James Georgiades, how did Mario He get this chance? Oh, yeah, I remember. Uh, safety. And, and then, then the safety back by John Mora. And what did Mario do? To and then Mario clipped it towards the two and three cluster. Yeah, oh, and then Mario. Uh, sorry. Mora jumped. Mora jumped and left him the long one that he punched off yes, the high left yes. off the rails. Now we're he probably there. played the jump with a hair too much speed. You know, not controlling yeah. that white as much. Yeah. But it's always a bit tricky when you're not sure if you're going to kiss those two balls. Yeah, what's, what's going to happen, exactly. And it's also difficult to execute good if you, if you don't know. Right? It's 100%. Yeah, it's easier to execute if you have a perfect picture of what's supposed to happen. But to be honest, I would have been, I wouldn't have been upset with a leave because he had to really work hard to get on that two ball. Yeah. You know, so it's not like he left him left him a sell out yeah it's it's reply and answer in a clash between two titans and mario he and john mora are two titans titans in the world of nine ball so they're trading blows Track 14. Mario he three. it's the same in snooker if you have in the world championships a match over three or four sessions that it goes in blocks the longer the match the, the bigger the blocks are so the first block was Mario He, then Mora. And now he looking to not, not too bad there. Yeah, to book a good 10, 15 minutes. It's just all those little sections, you know, those little three, four racks that you want to capitalize on. Are we looking at a um, four eight combination once we get there? Yeah, once he gets there, it's very playable. Would you even be tempted to play it off the eight, this shot? <laughs> yeah, that's what he was looking at. Mm. Or are you just happy to take the, the combination? No, I would think I would go two rails around to four. And then two rails around to five. The, com the combination's pretty makeable. It's pretty makeable, yeah, anywhere in mid-table. And there goes the Polish crowd again. The last of the Mohicans, Sebastian Botkowski, getting a rack back on Mohamed Sufi. One for the home team. Did well to miss the five. Little angle on the four. So his cue ball will fall to the left. So now he's thinking how much cut, how much control over the four, or does he need to force the four a little more to the right? Ten. Extension call. That's what it looks like to me. You're going to baby this one a little bit? 
No, because the cue ball would go forward and the four would go to the right. I think he'll play with more speed. I don't understand the follow, actually. I yeah, would have played yeah, that stun. speed, but not the follow. Yeah, stun. Yeah, because the four is always going to come mid-table. Do we take the bank on? Um, well, I know John Mora would. And it looks like Mario, he will. Yeah, if he was playing that combination with overspeed, should have should have stunned it for sure. Shot. Beautiful. Yeah, it was a nice bank because he had to go forward, like stun run through. Makes the bank, um, yeah, a little harder. On the TV table, there's when you play with top spin, a little more transition on the object ball, which will make it react slightly different. Nice little kill strike here. Yeah, hitting the ball good. Just pull it back a little bit. I reckon he could use the long rail a little bit more there and pinch it. Get that cube off the rail a hair more than what it is now. If only in a perfect world. SPB's down uh, six games to three now on the main table. Yeah, I saw Double J made his way over to the arena. Give some lucky charm. Yeah, he's a player to watch. Hong. Kwok Hong. Seven each. Good job. Nice match. Nice match. It's not so no mistakes um, that made the momentum change, but just a shot. Yeah. They're taking it from each other. Yeah, a couple of big balls being made. Let's see what uh, Mario's got in his break. Well, he, he had a good one mm. on his last attempt. Getting to a pretty crucial part of, part of this match. Seven games to seven in a race to 11. Rack 15. Race to four for a place uh, in the break. quarterfinals. The scores are tied, seven racks each. Threw his whole body in. And that means something. He'll be happy with the position of the four. Four ended up close to the corner. Means he will not have to do a lot off of the three. Looks like the three does go. If not, he might be able to just pinch that rail at nice speed if he lands good shape on it after this two ball. It's a bit of a back cut though. A back cut, yeah. Almost to the point where one could choose to go twice across, like unleash. I think he'll kill it. But it's not the most comfortable of strokes. Crisp. Just got to make this ball. It's nice having that four hanging. Let's see how quickly, how smoothly this one goes in, whether it's full pocket or. 
played with a low speed. Shot, full pocket. Full pocket. Good job. Now roll with right. It's got a nice angle here as well to get down that down table for the five. Good enough. Good enough. Yeah. Extension code. Extra time for Mario He. He knows he's there. He has won the wreck. He just still needs to win it. Don't blunder on these four balls. Yeah, you just want to bounce enough off that long rail so you're full enough on the six, don't you? Yeah. Straight draw. Do you prefer to play those with l not as much outside? Uh, well, sh yeah. So I yeah. said, I said straight draw, mm. not straight draw, but limit, limit the outside. Yeah. Limit the outside, like especially if you grow up playing on club tables, and then that outside is of more value. It does more on the rail compared to these tables. Compared sure. to these, mm. plus the outside spin on a new cloth will cause more deflection. Yep. It's all danger then, isn't it? Yes. Mario He wins the rack. Nice. Great response by Mario He. It's his table for now. And the worrying thing for Mora is that he has found his break. What was the what, what was the score of that jump shot? It would have been seven five? Um, no, that was for 8-5. Eight 8-5, five. Eight five, yeah. That was for 8-5. Yeah, so now winning three on the spin. And counting. His favourite to make a ball on the break. Because he's a very, very good breaker and his difficulty, the difficulty that he had in the beginning of the match to get balls down was unexpected for me. So my point is, I expect him to break successfully. He's one of the better breakers in the field. Looks like uh, SVB's trying to pound him as always as well. On the main table. Well, this man doesn't pound him much softer rack 60. same style same mario type of cue ball eight racks to seven. that mario breaks with the difficulty with this break is to keep the cue ball level where does it start jumping with all that speed Not sure if that five passes that seven in the top left pocket, but I'm not sure if we're going to be seeing an attacking shot here. Um, well, he needs to look at the shot to nothing, a bank to the side pocket on the right. It's a little off angle. Is it worth trying to bring the two underneath the nine and get that cue ball in that top right, top left pocket? Sorry, near the seven and the five. Uh, yes, but it's. Is that a difficult speed? Sometimes it, it's like just a, a margin of one, two inches to the left or to the right for something to be a nice natural shot or not. Play the shot to nothing, in a way. In a way, but it looks like it's open. A John Mora special, I said. The long roll in off of the rail. Can he do it again? Already did it. These types of shots, like five times in this match. He definitely won't be backing out of it. Wow. He keeps so still, doesn't he? Oh, whoa, whoa. So cool. 
No, I mean, it's it's a thing of technique, sure, b but there are many people here in the field that have good technique, but he makes exactly. more of those. He just has there's ice water veins. There's just no body movement, no hand movement, everything's so stable. Be nice to get an angle on this ball so we can get up table for the five. Doesn't want to land too flat on the four. Two hard headed men going at it. Pocket need clean is important here. Need a bit of speed here. Shot. It's a well played shot after being sitting down after a few racks. Yeah. A couple of, couple of good openers. I've seen nice inspirational matches when it comes to safety play. Kicks and safeties, push outs, but this match for me shot making and running out under pressure. This works out all right. Did, did make sure that he left himself a nice angle. If he were to make the seven, and he did, now he's got a nice shape to draw back for the eight. Yeah, he's good. He is good. All started with another one of those long roll-ins. And they've all been two balls as well. Yeah. In the same amazing. pocket. <laughs> well, who would have guessed? We're at level terms again. 8-8. Eight, eight. Uh, the race to three and neither of the two players looking to give in one inch but Mora has the best cards he gets the break Like uh, Shane's uh, pulled back a couple on the main table. Was 6 3 down, now it's uh, 6 5 and breaking. Can SVB go back to back? Um, yeah, before this round, he was my favorite to go and win it. Then he went down 4 1, right? I <laughs> retracted my. <laughs> yeah, my <Rack> prospect. <laughs> John Morris, a break. Mo, he looks good Scores again. Eight racks each. Great shot maker. In practice, he's all, always playing big shots. Just big shots, long, hard, maximum spin. Yeah, he doesn't really uh, do much simple stuff, does he? John's been making a few balls. Yes, the break is now working mm. for both. Now he's played a couple of those safeties where he crosses the one and sends it back down table. I don't think it's on right now. The kiss is, uh, the scratch on the right is huge. Is this even worth taking on? It depends on the natural route, around the six, mm. down table. If you can miss the six, it's not too bad. If he can miss the six and the side pocket, it would be good. Sort yeah. of a free shot. Yeah, maybe favor the overcut a little bit as well. Yeah, miss on the pro side. Oh, <laughs> how good speed! It's got to slow down. Oh wow! Wow! That's some gorgeous shots off the rail, isn't it? Junge, junge, junge! They say in the Netherlands. 
Extension cool. He's crazy good with those shots. Some crazy shot making. Needs to go to the... No, he'll roll. He can hold it. Nice and easy. I wish I could roll like he does. Will he be playing the six in the same pocket? Yeah, it seems to be too sharp to the side pocket. Or... Come to the left side rail, sort yeah, of. Yeah, but he's aligning high with a little inside. I don't think he's giving enough to come all the way through the gap. I said too sharp for the side pocket, but it is not. Well, he's got he's got a nice line where he can play it with straight follow and still land on the seven. So, but they're not always tasty shots, are they? Well, I have a feeling that he doesn't mind playing topspin on the cue ball. Shot. Almost did too much. Mr. Smooth. Mario, he missed an easy nine ball. It was somewhere around 3-0 to go up, 4-0, I think. Big game changer. Left the door open there for the Canadian Mora. Nice twice across here. Slight little under hit. Yeah, well, better under hit than over hit. It's a good finish. Very strong. That one ball. I don't think we'll get a replay here on table two, but it was a gorgeous shot. He's played four lovely balls off the rail. Well, in, in total, if we also include like the, the safeties crossing the one, sending it back down table, he played two before you set in with me, where he really had to thread the needle. Like eight, nine shots from the rail. Beautiful in this match. Nine eight. That was a big wreck, but every wreck is big in the way this match is going. It's a slugfest. It's been completely different to previous days, isn't it? This match. Shot clock. Mm. This is the shot. Look at this. John Mora to break. Look at this. this. Under eight. pressure. Just stopped in time for a shape on the four. Beautiful. And all he can do is hope. Nice. Nice and thick. Meaning that he didn't lose the cue ball going forward. And the six hasn't caused too much of an issue here as well, which is nice. Might have to play this one low with a bit of right. Or do you kind of hit these flat? Or how well, it depends if that... Well, it's off the rail. No, so he really needs to cut it. Uh, I like playing this with the hair of right. And then... May, so you play... After the wine, you go long, short. And bounce back up.
still goes. I've seen worse kisses. Yeah, well, it would have been very unlucky. Look, he plays a good shot. Gets into the rail, but just hits the knuckle. Little bit funky to predict the cue ball here. It on the TV table. Yeah, a little tricky one. Nice. Gorgeous. Played that well to miss the four. Had to hit it very soft. In the open. For 10 8 to get to the hill. What a champion. Nobody won a match here, nobody won the world title as of yet. Botkovsky won a wreck. Their last hope. Five five as well. Close battle on table three. <laughs> little teaser. <laughs> yeah, little teaser. Especially, you know, if that shot is played towards you. So I'm talking about Mario He. Yeah. If your opponent plays the shot towards you and, and makes it trickle and drop. It's even better, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> This could be a very similar Cinderella story when he played Jason. Could could clear it out. Yeah, very strong. I didn't see that match more against Jason Shaw on table one. But what he has shown today is very, very impressive. He's made many hard shots above average for a nine ball race. And then, once again, about those roll-ins, I'm used to players stroking the ball in with speed over distance, but here he was on the rail every time. And they've all hit dead center of the pocket as well. Oh, my. No jaw needed. For 10-8. Hoppa. Hoppa. I'm, I'm feeling a uh, break and clear, actually, to be honest as well. I don't know, I've just got a feeling the way this is the match is the way it's going to finish, but stranger things have happened. Stranger things have happened. And he's used to playing good, but he's also human, so even with an open layout, you know, there comes this thought, man, if I run out here, I'm really playing good. <laughs> yeah, you got to be loving it. Yeah, but I'm saying uh, it can cause distraction. You gotta keep your eye on the ball, forget about the finish line, but that finish line is coming awfully close. A hell of a match played by Mora. Almost. And we've got a big crowd on table three. Look at that. Isn't that great? Got lots of people around the place tonight. Or today I should say. Isn't that a great viewing? Yeah, this is also special. So not in the bleachers, but standing around the table. It's even it's even more intimate, more intense. On the hill. Claustrophobic it's almost. On the hill, John Mora looking to close it out. This will be his last break. Hit them sweet in his last break. One ball, kissed away, and we get dry. Try and break. Now the one is makeable. Much, much, much easier had that three ball not been where it is now. Uh, SVB is going on a, on a little rampage. 
He's about to go eight eight to six from uh, six three down. I reckon there must be a few uh, break and clears on the main table. Strong. Just always happens to find that gear. Yeah, when he gets that break going, pretty scary. It's also what his game type is geared towards. Mm. Big breaks, big strokes. Doesn't mind the challenge shots. Well, at least made the balls. Very difficult to keep your eye on the pot when you know your cue ball might run into trouble. There's room in between the six and four. Cut it in, go up and down. I see how much it hawks off that rail. Yeah, he knew this. He knew he wouldn't risk running into the six or four. The eight ball was big. It's always nice to see that slide off that cushion, isn't it? Just Different ball game on the TV table. Now, which pockets are available for the five? Yeah, you might be able to just play uh, maybe high and try and maybe nudge the nine or get close to the nine. It's a little funky. Yeah. Maybe with more speed and maybe go into them, in a way. Well, it... So in this case, it would depend on the angle that you have. So what, what's the easiest stroke? I don't think there's necessarily one better yeah. option than the other. Now that bump on the nine has closed the pocket for the six, I think. From here, I feel if that pocket is closed, he could also draw and bump the six, nudge the six a little bit to his right. Or does he just take his medicine and maybe leave himself the combo? Extension yeah, in terms of just making the five and... That's what it looks like. Mm. He's a champion straight pool player, champion eight ball player. And I'm saying that because in those games you play many combinations. If he likes it, I like it. Boom! He didn't like it. That's a gorgeous stroke, <laughs> isn't it? No fear in that one. Wow, that was clean. Not an easy shot on the smaller pockets at that speed, is it? Well, that's a nice thing. It's difficult, but the, the, the good thing, it can also be helpful that there's no other way to play the shot. You're you have to, to. You have to play like you mean it. And I think he played it that way. He meant <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, he meant it. But they have both meant it. It's a match played with a lot of heart, a lot of courage. And, and not only that, the wins off the other person's breaks have been class. Yeah. In terms of the shot making, the I opening shots. Oh, well, that bank score just, uh, sorry, the cut on the one from Mario, and then the up and down shot. You know, it's not a, it wasn't an easy out, especially when your opponent's on the hill. With his back against the wall, and if this, the next wreck follows the trend in this match, it's going to be a break and run by Mario. And it will all boil down to that last wreck. If and only if he gets to win the next one wreck 20 what about a nice nine ball snap off the break <laughs> get him quickly to hill hill rack 20 Mayo here to break. Trailing 10 racks to 9. Let's see what Mario's got. Nice kiss. Nice opening shot. 
get us a double heal. Wouldn't that be lovely? Let's go. One ball down. Two ball close to the cue ball. He is not good. Not what he wanted. It's makeable to the pocket top left, but very, very acute angle. Can he play it in a way where he's playing low right, chopping into the top left pocket, and then playing cue ball, long rail short? And then yeah, and check it. Yeah, and check it up off that short rail. Yeah. If he could reach it, it's not a shot he would want think of taking on with mm. the rest, I feel. No, it's not much fun. Being, you can see how close they are. Very close together. It's the shot that he's looking at. Distance, and then there's the nine in the way. Extension called. Bargotti with another win. Yeah, what a fight. Botkowski. 6-6 six, six against Sufi. Looks like we're trying to swing the white down table here. Needs a bit more speed. This is open. And the 4 and 6 nicely together on the left. Now from here I would think if the angle on the 2 is that big he could cut it in and run into the 4-6. I like it. Yeah, but he was also looking if, at if that 4 goes. Almost as if to leave That's him untouched cool. now. Well, it should be guaranteed shape if he's going into those balls. Well, you would assumpt hope so. assumption is the mother of all failure. Yeah, it's likely. 9 out of 10. Mr. Smooth, no shape. Well, maybe he sees enough, could play a good safety. He has to be the best low roll of the ball I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> well, ever seen? Well, I've been around longer, so... What well, that I've seen. <laughs> well, it's been a while for me. Looks like we could be going airborne. Mm. Take, what, both, yeah, take both cues, well, no listen, extension. Listen to this. I like... Well, I, I don't know if I would like it, but what I would definitely consider, depends also on the swerve, hitting real first. Maybe with a tight, slight curve, real first, clip the three and swing the cue ball around. Mm. But it depends on the swerve. But we've got no extension as well. Then the jump. Get lucky. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. I was, thinking he, I was thinking he could have come underneath off the short rail and make it off the six as well, but... Yeah, interesting. Wow, <laughs> interesting. Oh, we, got, we need a good stroke here. Must be gut-wrenched John Mora in his chair. Are we going to be drawing back for the same pocket? Well, it's a big shot. Big stroke needed here. Going for the side. Well, he I think he played for the side, but then oh, so now the seven would be in the way, so it's going to be to the corner. He's checking if with topspin pocketing to the side, the cue ball would deflect enough to the left. Big shot here. This is it, under the gun, and he looks like playing with haste. Shot clock is breathing down his neck. Get out of the way, Seven. Oh, that could have been a little bit nicer. If he comes with this six and runs out for 10-10, it's one of the better nine ball matches I've seen in a while. We've seen some this week. Oh, 
Way oh. mama. Wow, what a stroke. The uh, shot making in this match is absurd. It's it's been, through the roof. It's been unbelievable. Man. Oh, Mara's going to be gutted. Oh. After making a good cut in the two, crashing into those balls, but not getting shape. Jesus. Yeah, and then that fluke. Wow, that was a big six ball. Clean, too. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> it wasn't clean. <laughs> clean enough. Clean enough, yeah. <laughs> it wiped its feet. Bada bing, bada bang. We did it again. Hill, hill. One wreck for all the marbles for a place in the quarterfinal. With a big advantage for the big man from Austria. He gets to break. 10-10. Mora's gone back-to-back -back double hills. Close games everywhere. 6-6 six, six on table three. Score between Kwok Wong and SVB. I'm waiting to see you folks back home. Probably no. A grimace on SVB's face. Yeah, I reckon it's close to 7 all. Oh, then he got back nicely in the match. Vietnamese Wong. 9-8, SVB, race to 11, one to break. We've missed a few more racks than I thought. <laughs> hey, this is it. This is it. Pressure is humongous. No, she got lucky with, with that six ball. Good luck to, to both players. Let's see what this break's got. Oops. Polish gets another frame. Oh yeah, yeah, cue ball. Three ball bumped out. Oh, really? Is John Mora thinking in his chair? Nice bump to that three. It's an open play will be difficult after that for a shot on the four. Looks like he might be taking his medicine here, maybe. Leaving himself a longer distance on the three. I think he can well, swing it around. Yeah, but it depends also what he can do with that longer distance. Longer distance, can he... Clip the six, maybe, or clip the four? In yeah. terms of coming one rail? Mm. Not risky. easy. No, I would I would get closer to the three ball. No, not him. Uh, that, that I don't think the table is going to allow him to well, crash into him, is it? Well, the thing is, if you're playing with check side to hit the six, if you don't hit the six, you're snookered. If you hit the four and don't hit it hard enough, you're snookered. Sounds good. If, if you hit <laughs> if you hit harder with check side, you might not bite into the rail. Might slide out on you. Sounds like there's a lot of danger. Well, you know, World Nine World Championships, 10 10. Danger all around. Can he um, hit the three full in the face and bounce it two rails to the short rail up top? Yeah, I would think I would play safe from here. Mm. M M nice. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Ball's, ball's going to be the funky ball, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Extension called. Really needs to hit this ball. My biggest concern would be the scratch. Top right. From underneath. Almost to where I would choose to play one reel. Unless, of course, you can do that. Wow. 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 Oh, you've got to be gutted. <sighs> Fall in hand. 
What? He hit it exactly how he wanted to. Also to drift the white down table as well, make it awkward. No, that was sick. But he's not there yet. Are we going to play this aggressive or are we going to think of a safety on the four? Potentially. You, you, you sound like a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone the aggressive route. We've gone the aggressive route. Oh, no. Fall in hand. Start the clock, please. Welcome to the wonderful world of a hill hill finish. Unbelievable drama. I'm definitely no doctor. <laughs> no, but if you're talking we. <laughs> well, what are we going to do today? Will he bump the six? Mm. He definitely tried to bump it. Yeah. You know, if you bump the six and really open up the five to the pocket low right, then safety's not going to be as tight but tight enough. It's basically the same position as Mora had before. A little closer to the rail, that's four ball. Okay, he's looking at that five, if it goes to the left, and I think it does. Look how quick he plays mm -hmm. this. He went down quick. Has he got an extension? Not sure. Oh. Was always going to be difficult. And to cut and the speed control. Are we going all out here? Where are the back cut? Mm -hmm. No. Try and bump it down table with the fireball towards the eight. Towards the eight, yeah. It's a bit dicey. Dicey, dicey. It cuts. And also for me, if I'm looking at the cut, I would be happy with the position of the nine. Maybe favor the overcut a little bit more? Yes. You ball will be running wild. Shot. Straight in. No, he has an angle. That's good because the seven has no pocket, not low left. Yeah, we'll be trying to come down table with this one. Yeah, but where? But where the fireball was a second ago would be nice. Y yeah, but it seems like he has too much angle for that. I think he needs to draw and go directly. Screw straight down. Draw straight down in a straight line. Yeah. Try and play this little bit of right, trying to hit it fatter as well. Combinations. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that tells us he had too much angle and no n natural way to get to the seven. This is it. Close to the hole, the nine ball. But a lot of distance from the seven. For a place in the quarterfinals, Mario, he wins 11-10. An eventful 21st wreck. What a sick match this was. And wow. Mora must be gut-branched. Absolutely gutted for Mora there. Great shots by both players. Great pull. A little more running for the Austrian. So he advances, joins his fellow countryman, Albin Ocean, in the quarterfinals. James Georgiades, thanks for sitting in. Maybe uh, you'll be back later. Yeah, I might see you for the next one. All right, the next one is FSR against Dennis Grape from Estonia.
gentlemen, it may be loud, so if you want to use the extension, let me know. I need to repeat that. If I don't repeat that, it means it was not taken, okay? So, have fun, good luck. One minute to start, one minute. One minute, one minute. We need to start. <laughs> wow. What scintillating scenes here in the Tariq Stadium. The whole room stopped. Track number Alex? one, Sanchez Ruiz to Grape. Yeah, FSR and <laughs> Grape wanted to watch the finish between Shane and Kwok Wang. Which is double hill. Double hill. And it's been an interesting frame as well. And uh, looks like we could have a chance. But we have FSR to break against Dennis Grape. Okay, FSR favorite for this match. On paper. Let, oi, oi, oi. Yeah, we're watching <laughs> on the screen the match between <laughs> Kwok Wang, who is in a winning position, and hung up the three. But then it dropped nicely. Got a tasty one as well. So much good action everywhere. So, Grape against FSR depends very much on what Grape brings, I feel. FSR being so consistent throughout all year and in this tournament. I think I know what to expect from his game. I'm not sure what to expect from Grape's uh, kicking and safety game. I haven't seen him play in a while. But very experienced, of course. Seasoned. Goes deep Might as well into just tournaments. Is it worth just trying to tie up the three here on the six? Yeah, that's what he's looking at. Make an intentional foul. Tie up the three, but it's difficult to play this shot well enough. We could, cause we could, we could be saying goodbye to SVB now as well. Two balls away on table one. Yeah, this is it. Kwok Wang, are we going to see, well, maybe the viewers at home not, but we... A smile. Oh, yeah. Q in the air. An 11-10 win. Vietnam beats USA. Wang through to the quarterfinals. He's a smooth operator, that guy. Good stuff. Now, makes it easier for us to bear down and focus on this match. FSR with ball in hand playing for position in the narrow space left of the three. Right about perfect. That's some good cue ball control early in the match yeah. there. Yeah, he would went, it be, would he went right through Thorsten Homan yesterday on this table. Very flamboyant. Easy on the eye. Plays quick and with rhythm when he can with an open table and knows when to step back and reflect. So who does the um, who does the winner play of this match? Do you know? Uh, the winner of FS, I think. Uh, wait, we have to look it up. Fayen. We'll have to look it up. Yeah, and um, also um, FSR didn't go to Derby as well, so he was making sure that he uh, was in full shape and ready for this tournament. 
Yeah, big one. Would be amazing if he would go on and win this one. No, I don't expect him to stop playing good pool, but I mean, come on, how long can a winning streak go on? Definitely had a very hot last year. Definitely a breakthrough year for sure. Lots of good wins. And he does love the Metro Marina, that's for sure. So it's obvious that the shot clock in open play won't pose any problems for FSR. It did pose a problem for Dennis Grape. Found himself in that tight spot. Would maybe have liked a little more time to study the table. But the intentional foul, the position of the three in the end, no problem at all for FSR. Got in perfect position. FSR, Dennis Grape, their winner plays against Chang John Lin. He beat Zielinski 11 7. And Mario He, in the same part of the draw, is waiting for the winner between Three Alexa Pichel and Niels Feyen. But Pichel and Feyen won't start till after Sufi and Batkovsky's match. And Sufi's got a chance to finish that one up and now as well, leading 10 racks to 8 and at the table. Nice little kiss. Beautiful kiss. Look Gorgeous at that. Gorgeous kiss. And we've got the three hanging over that top right pocket That's as well. That's what you call run of the ball. But then again, luck is the residue of hard work. Five to the side, that's what I'm looking at. Five to the side later on, it's a bit steep. I think we'll see that five go to the corner. Means off of the four, he needs to go back to mid table. <laughs> oi, 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 Sophie had a good chance. The Syrian misses the seven. An open table for Batkovsky. Soon, I expect to see 11-9, and you'll hear 11-9. <laughs> In a matter of seconds. Nice. It was good landing low on that four. Then you can try to swing that one around two rows. I like that option. Instead of having to play one row, he's you know, just letting the cue ball fly in a, in a nice controlled manner. Come back better a little too far than too short. Wow. Wow, FSR. I reckon uh, maybe FSR was waiting for the loud noise in the back of his mind. You know? There's no reason for that miss. Maybe you can feel some more noise coming only a couple of meters away from table three. I don't know. Unexpected. Uncharacteristic. Extension. And really a must take chance for Grape. Right? You, you can't have your opponent miss a shot like that and not punish. Just good, nice little natural, natural float down to the long rail where he's pointing his cue. There's nice. He could play this one at a good speed to maximise the pocket as well. Which is do good. you play this with side? Oh, I like to play a trace. Yeah, yeah, trace of right spin. Use that long rail to your advantage there. Big miss by FSR. Needs to find his groove still. It looked a little 
rushed that execution. But the grape will take it, the Estonian. Could be hearing some pretty loud noises from table three, but gets a double heel over there. Oh my god. Yeah, it's their last horse left in the race. Sebastian Batkowski. And win or lose, he's had a great run. Great campaign. Surprise performance. Yeah, there's definitely a big big crowd around that table, that's for sure. Four players to come back tomorrow on the final day of the World Championships. Who are the names that we get to fill in? The holder is eliminated. Alvin Ocean has been playing good today. Now the favorite with the elimination of SVB. Grabe, center three is one one. Rack number three. Grab it to break. Let's see how uh, Dennis has been breaking so far. Let's see if he's going to be drawing it flat or is he going to be juicing up a little bit? I would suggest more flat. A uh, little bit more juice on that one. Well, FSR is hitting it more flat with draw, isn't he? Like twice across towards the nine. Yeah, he's very good. This one's got a bit more right hand. A little bit more right well, hand. Well, actually, FSR, what he does well, if he's breaking good, he has a little arc around the nine ball. Mm. You, you'll see later, I expect. Nasty shot. If he's to roll this in with right spin. Can you play low left for Mr. Fire? Uh, difficult. Good, Beautiful. Good speed. Beautiful shot. Beautiful speed. Now, some people back home could question, are you not supposed to stand still upon delivery when you play pool? Uh, yeah, by the book, but you can't do everything right, and he's doing many other things right. But he has that little bit of movement on shots now and again. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. What your thought was on that, on the way that he obviously strikes the ball brilliantly, but he does tend to lift up or move on the ball a hair sometimes. Yeah. As... Um, as has done Efren Reyes. Definitely. Yeah, definitely a lot of the best have always had that hair of movement. Extension. Taking his time, FSR. Doesn't want to miss because of the shot clock anymore. Don't necessarily like this angle. Yeah, I think he's probably going to be trying to land near the right hand break spot. Try and leave himself a little like a floating, floating six to get on the seven. It's not very tasty though. The shot he plays really good. You said the other day about Joshua Filler, how he likes to stun the ball. These shots are the bread and butter shots for FSR. Float them in with a trace of outside spin. Ooh, we're talking about riding him in. <laughs> Just a little bit there. I always thought he was catching it a little bit heavy, heavy in the pocket. And there's all that crowd watching on table three. How good would another double heel be? Nice. 
Nice. Dry break by Grape. And he got it back. FSR gets the momentum back and the break and the lead. So we also have one quarterfinal match on the evening session on this table later. No. The applause for Botkowski who on the other table jump, banks a ball in, but snook, snookers himself <laughs> again. Uh, evening session quarterfinal, yeah, but still to be decided which one that will be. You're going to have to play another jump shot here as well. <laughs> Oh, yes, As we can see. Okay, we have it now, yeah. Leading grabber to one. Well, four. I think there will be to break. many diehard fans who will have three tables open at home. <laughs> it's crazy stuff going on. He definitely swings it around the nine, doesn't he, with the break? With yeah, the and, and now he lost it a little more. Yeah. When he, he really starts to break well, it's sharper around the nine. Yeah, a little closer. And he would have had shape on the two if that was the case. It's even tempting to take the jump shot. Mm. Yeah. It's difficult push out if he opts to play push with those four balls. Look, if he leaves anything on an angle with the two, then it's easy, relatively easy, to find the route towards the five, six, nine, and seven. He looked at the push, uh, push and it's going to be push for a jump. Mm, don't like it. Well, don't like it. I don't mind it. Being grape. Being grape, yeah. I would like it. Ho, 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 ho. He has to take it. Have to. You can't give this back. Three's hanging. Not hanging, but it's a good connector if you make the two. Uh, well, I feel like he'll track a little towards the three ball. Oh, he gives it back. Wow, that's a bold call. I think you've got to take that on. Even if you don't like it, you can get a result. Well, and that, and it depends very much who you play against. Mm. How good do they jump? Foul. If eh. you win, you're right. Dennis Grape is right. Looks like we could be seeing 10 10 on table three. And listen to the roar when Botkowski plays the next two shots. He even played the seven left-handed as well. Yeah, and left himself long and straight. I know. <laughs> Ballsy. If this fires, then we're going to be there'll be some noise. Yeah, that's that noise. <laughs> oh, he's playing with a lot of heart. Yesterday also put up a great fight 10-10 the table 3 oh my oh my it's even worth pausing this game <laughs> there's going to be lots of noise isn't there it's never fun crazy it's a bit like a soccer match a bit like a soccer match yeah I wouldn't start chanting too much I mean you're a man has to keep his composure. A little short there for the five. Well, he can roll into the nine ball, I think, I hope. Should be okay. Looks composed, Dennis Grape.
<laughs> you see on the left, you see the fans tiptoeing to catch a glimpse of the final wreck in that match. I might even leave you for a second. No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to leave you for a second. No, I wouldn't leave you, Alex. There could be some really now loud noises from table three. Mine will break. Mohamed Sufi was up eight to ten, I reckon he was as well. Yeah, has made a ball, Bukowski. Not bad shape. Three's Not a bit bad tricky. shape. Uh oh. Dennis Grape. Thumbs it in. Well, he's good. Should be good. Has made so many pressure shots to get this far. He'll be fine. Nice. Fires it in. Yeah, that's the cool thing about a high pressure, high stake tournament as deep as this is, 128 players. By the time you get to the last 16, last eight, the players that are in have won so many wrecks, have played so many good shots. They're in dead punch. I reckon he got away with that on table. Um, Badakotsky might have hooked himself behind the eight. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. As we can see with the crowd as well. Oh, yeah, we have it here. Yeah. Well, it's a relatively easy hit. That three is awkward, yeah, as you can see it next to that two four two. ball. Number five. No, Number we want to see the 10 10. Yeah, should we go to the other table? <laughs> he hit it. He did. Hits the eight. Oh, it's juicy. And stays behind the eight. <laughs> He's snooking him. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Uh, needs to play a push. Crazy stuff going push on out. today. Push out called by Dennis Grape. Those, um... Those double hill last frames are always interesting, aren't they? <laughs> you got to feel for John Murray in that last match, that's oh for sure. Oh, my. He'll play push out for a kick. Two row kick. Eh. There is room to play two rails underneath the one. It's tight. I think he'll play it. If you don't like it, you can also play real first and bunt the one ball back up table to the left side of the two. Very containing. He's checking if there's enough room to play two rails behind the one. Nothing to gain there. I wouldn't necessarily play this with right spin. Just, just high. Just high. Yeah. yeah, because right spin, then you dip into the ball. A high ball, you, you have a bigger chance to deflect towards the left with the cue ball. Yeah, because you want to catch the left side of the one more, don't you? Not too bad. Not too bad. Good shot. There's that crowd. Lovely kick shot from the last standing Polish. <laughs> Station. Oh. Wow, what a lovely kick shot. Wow, oh, there's something going on on table three. You can find this match. I don't know if it's yeah. on YouTube or on Facebook. Yeah, it's on the on the YouTube page as well, the Matchroom Multisport. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then I'm sure people will be watching that match. Yeah, we're fortunate enough. We can see it in front of us. Man. Oh, what a shot. 
Wow. Has a kiss. Trick shot. And it's open. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Wow. Well, Mohamed Sufi's got a chance to go. Longish two ball on table three. If he makes it, he's a chance. Wow. Talk about heart. <laughs> Sprinting around the well table. Yeah, it's almost <laughs> like it's in fast forward. A little bit. Bang. Oh, the crowd. <laughs> Back and forth. Avoid the nine. Oh, where I'm now. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm so now giving commentary on the other match. We're trying to. <laughs> it's just so interesting. Double ten ten. What do you expect us to do? <laughs> Okay, okay. Oh, that's a bit funky. Uh oh. Nice shot there from FSR. It's looking a bit pale now. Mohamed Sufi. Would you want to play that shot? Because I wouldn't. No. <laughs> Not even on PlayStation. You gotta play it soft. Wow, wow, wow. Heart of gold. One more. Oh, my word. Nice finish from FSR. Sufi, Mohammed Can we Sufi. switch over to table three for a second? Unbelievable. What a finish. What a finish. What a finish. Unbelievable. Wow. That was a big finish. Oh, man. Look at him. Oh, man. I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> yeah, this was amazing. Amazing. What a finish. When he slow rolled the eight as well. Unbelievable, what heart. Lovely work from the crowd as well. Oh, beautiful to see. <laughs> That's the, the heat that the Polish fans bring. Good stuff. An applause for their man, Budkowski, who fought like Sanchez a lion. Grabber, Got the match two, back and now the applause for Sufi. Okay. We better get back to work then. Back to work. And then Pichel and Fein will start battling on table three. Oh, this is now. Look, on this break, it's obvious to see how he gets it around the nine. On this one. On this one here. Straight draw. Yeah, straight draw. Oh, There's not a hair of spin on the ball. Timing it beautifully as well to arc it around that nine ball. I like to push if he doesn't have the gap for the kick shot. I think he, he might have the gap between the three and nine. Push out. Okay, he's setting it up a little bit easy. I don't like this. He already was in position. He already was in position to play it. It's kind of similar to that one that he had before when he pushed the jump a little bit easier and he still played the jump. Yeah. It's like a little bait, little bait shot or nah. No, I think I don't like what he did here. And there might even be enough room to the left of the five ball to come off the long rail. That's what Grape also looked at. Extension. Yeah, it'd be nice to stick that cue ball there. Yeah, he, he is going to play. But then again, the longer someone looks, the bigger the chance that they give it back. But I like this one row kick shot off of the short rail. Even if you hit it poor, you're probably still going to leave something difficult. Shot. Played it with the right spin to dip into the two ball, create an angle. Gave him a bigger part of the ball to hit. Caused a bit of carnage on that four ball as well.
Nice one. But it's open. Difficult to control the cue ball with the steep angle and that four ball tied up with the eight. No reason for worry just yet for FSR. Shot. Yeah, I say shot, but he would have liked to go a little further to the left. Are we going to get to a point where we can... Um well, where he is now is like he's reasonably okay. Where he can maybe stop the cue ball behind the eight ball. Oh yeah, that would be perfect. The four but he has to make sure to come far enough. So never underhit it. Maybe overhit it. Never underhit it. This is good. Yeah, as long as he doesn't make it in the side, three rails. Uh, no, that's not on. Okay. No, that's not on. It's more that uh, the seven is a big ball. Ha, ha, ha! James Georgiadis, you I was were close. right. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see that coming. Do you remember when, um, do you remember when Joshua played that shot yesterday? Also, or yeah, it also came that short. That's what I was thinking of when it played short that of that off that rail. Any more speed, that's in. So I was close, nearly. <laughs> the Oracle from Adelaide, James Georgiadis. Extension. Looks like there's room to scratch off of the top side of the four. Not that he should, but then he's got that he's got it welded quite nice, hasn't he? Yeah, then you have a little less room. Is it worth going two rows and yes. I wonder I wonder if he's gonna hit it short because of how short that four ball came. Good point. Or if it might spread on him. Short. Yeah, so in your match later on... Oh, no, you're not playing. <laughs> <laughs> I might come back next year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but good call, yeah. Yeah. And actually, there was another time in a match yesterday where someone went through, like, through the corner, you know, just a positional shot. And normally, when you go short long, you're not supposed to come close to the side pocket, right? Yeah. And he did. Yeah, yeah, maybe because the tables are playing not ultra quick. Maybe that's why they're screwing up a little bit as well off the second rail. You're even tempted to leave yourself low on this ball, on the seven. Could have. No need to, though. He looks good, Grape. He looks like he's up for it. But the thing is, the thing is, the way these matches have been going, this year's World Championship, you have to give 100% to get to 8, 8, 9, 9. And then you have to give 120% <laughs> for the last 15 minutes. And then pray. And then pray, yeah. Probably the tallest of all the players in this tournament. No problem reaching that shot. Nice control. Leveling again. Dennis Grape will have to break in Rec 7. Can you maybe turn the TV off or turn it around somehow? I because I, I will, I'm, 
Okay. Just seeing the picture. If it's okay. Clear. Just a second. To turn the TV off because it's disturbing the player. Yeah. Three three. Rec seven. Mr. Grapefruit. That's the name he goes by on Instagram to break. Number seven, Gabe to break. Nice. Yeah, that one was a bit flatter, wasn't it? Not yeah. as much. Oh, yeah, nine ball. Oh, nearly. And no view of the two ball. Yeah, a lot less, a lot, lot more flatter this one. Oh, that, if that nine drop it would have been lovely, wouldn't it? Just to steal another rack away. Oh, yeah, get some momentum going. I like... I think I like putting the cue ball like close to the second diamond on the left. Where you show like a portion of the two, like one eighth. And then the shot would be to back cut the two ball all the way down table. Let the cue ball loose a little. There. No, not there. That's too difficult. Extension call. It's like he's even tempted to pot the nine. Yeah, well, if he pots the nine, He'll be snookered on a two. Just about. That's a worry. If he puts it where he was pointing, Push third out. diamond. I think. Let me see. Let me see. He'll get it back and he is in a tight spot. I don't see it. Yeah, I definitely like your first option more. I wonder if that three. Does the three go into the nine? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, but uh, Grape can figure it out. I really don't see how Sanchez is going to accept this. I don't think he's going to take it. A little bit of milking. Um, yeah. And I don't know what Grape can play from. Well, that's the only containing shot. So bunt the two ball in the middle of the short rail. And hope to stay behind the six. And hopefully not to leave an open bank down to that left bottom left hand pocket. Yeah, he's bunting. Nice. Uh, could have been nice. Could have been nice. Well, it's partly blocked. So very nice little sneaky push out. In the end, it was the most simple solution. It was pretty effective, especially if we, if we would have gotten a total snooker. Wonder if he can Extension. see full ball. 30 second shot clock makes a difference. It used to be 35 in the past. Nice. Good hit. Oh. Has he wired him? Yeah, now it's wired, and Grape is not happy with that. Anytime you're snookered, you would like to have the table in the toughest position possible. But maybe. Maybe you can just get past that six ball and, and stick the cue ball. Needs a full co Oh! We're lashing. Bit of a lash shot there. Yeah, I think he felt that he didn't have the angle. There's a carom on. Two nine carom. Hopefully not a double scratch. Should be fine there. Yeah, I'm not sure about that shot from Dennis. Did he have to really power up? Well, I liked it. Yeah? You know, roll the dice. I don't know if it was the smartest shot. Looks like we're going to the casino then. <laughs> yeah, you know. If it turns out good. Yeah, that push shot never really gave it much of an advantage in that rack. Um, 
So in the end, I think I liked the push out. He just overhit it. Because even if he would expose the two, but have the cue ball on the two more parallel to the long rail, would have been more difficult for FSR to play that safety. Listen, if you play push out on this level, it's always going, going to be tight. You're, it's very difficult to get a real clear advantage. Unless you take a big risk. Roll the dice. That's what she's... Uh, this nice little draw around that nine ball. After, yeah, let's after see. After crashing into the one. Let's see. And then hit it full in the face. That's good too. The only thing, no small detail, he didn't make a ball. <laughs> no ball. Just three matches to be played tomorrow. Four players left, four players standing. One more round of nitty gritty nine ball tonight. What shot do we like here? Yeah, good call. Well, he can drag it, kill it, put it behind the 6 7. You know, with this one, this is good. With this one, it's. He knew it would be easier to get to the one, but at least he's creating distance. So you're only playing a tight cue ball safety if you feel very convinced of getting it. Try and hit the, um, try and Station double the, one. sorry, try and bank the one up and down table in a straight line. Try and use the three as a... Oh, with the jump? Yeah. No, the one would go too fast, I feel. So how about full in the face and try and bank it? Two rails, short and long, up table. Yeah, I think that's more controllable. And try and use the eight maybe as a blocker. This, oh man, he hit it good. Nice hit. Good speed control. It had a little bit more control in both balls, that one, didn't it? Yeah, it was nice like this. Now, Grape has a cut on the one, which he, I, I feel he doesn't want to make it. But if he's slicing the one, bring the cue ball back, he would be afraid to make it. Overcut. Nice. Made it look easier than it seemed, to me at least. And now Sancho is looking if he can come past the side pocket on the right and then withdraw, curve the cue ball into the one, but it's... I don't think so. It'd be nice to just even clip it, wouldn't it? It's He's not going easy. Be before the side pocket. Wasn't an easy hit. So six tied up, two ball tied up, partly. He can play a safety where he nudges the six and where he opens the two four. Would you be tempted to take the combination on the two four? Uh, two four, uh, well, if I'm in perfect position. But from here, I think I would manipulate both clusters. You can really jam or that wire. Hey, or set up a 1-9 combination. Mm. Just needs to be on the right side of the table. Close, to, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, no combination. But I like his thinking. He's, he's a smart player. Because many times when players with ball in hand look for the next snooker, they create distance. But often, if you stay close, It'll be harder to get to the ball. It looks like that six is actually accessible in that top right pocket. Yeah, and it looks like the one mm. passes to nine. Advantage to Dennis. 
Don't think he can hold the cue ball if he cuts back cuts the one ball. Oh, nice. <laughs> It was probably always in the back of his head. There's always going to be a chance at some point. <laughs> I think I haven't seen Dennis play in this format yet, but he's a good scrambler. Yeah. Like hustle, hustle his win in a wreck. You know, he's not as conventional or, n or not as polished as other top players. I think that's what, why they like him in New Orleans, in Buffalo's. Yeah. He had a nice fruitful visit there some a year and a half ago. Looks like we got some action starting on table three now as well. Yeah, Fajin Pichel, Netherlands, Serbia. Looks like we have no ball again. And no shot on the one. Looks like the boys are struggling a little bit with their break on this match. Yeah, but we've seen in many matches on this table that, you know, along the match, like after five, six, seven wrecks, the players will find the speed the ball will start going. Does he see it or does he not? I'm not sure. If he's kicking, I don't like to kick from behind. Oh, it's going. It's going. Maybe two rails and then off of the eight. So he can't get enough angle. But, but what he can't... Oh, he's coming back. Elevate. Easy on the speed. Nice. Oh, wow, wow. That was a nice shot. So difficult to limit the speed on that stroke. So easy to catch a fat in the face, isn't it? Also. Yeah, that's sometimes the problem with televised nine ball. It looks easy. Like on the YouTube channel, everyone watching is a, is a pool playing is a pool player or a pool fan, they know. But on television, the shot he just played, he made it look easy, but it was... Far from it. Yeah, high degree of difficulty. Probably would have liked a little more full of this one. Now he's got to kind of slice this one in, doesn't he? Well, I'll spin it. Spin it in with a bit of side. You tempted to play this one three rails? Um, or spin it in? No, two rails. To spin it in two rails? Or even one with check side. I can come to the inside of the six or bump the six. Yeah, even bumping it's nice. This is the shot clock. We saw him running. Well, with the shot clock at 30 seconds, and so many players using an extension at shots, it's almost worth to have like an uh, extension magnet, you know, <laughs> like a clip on to carry it with you. Don't think he has anything else, anything other than bumping the four ball. Containing shot with the risk of getting snookered behind the five after that. A little bit of fortune for FSR with the miss and yeah. the leave. And then a nice little nudge there to have an open shot on this one.
<laughs> they looked a little lost, the Polish <laughs> fans. No homeboys to root for. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was, I was intrigued how he was going to play that because I wasn't sure if he was maybe going to bump into the five and just make the pot easier or if he was going to elevate and play it like that because they're never fun when you just kind of got to drag them a little way. It is, I don't know. Well, he ended up attacking the four. Yeah, I was thinking maybe attack the four but then just bump into the five and take your medicine. Oh, yeah. Nice shot. Good speed. Very good speed. And he has to move it a little bit forward and he's got a nice angle. Does he have to? Yes, he did. Half a ball forward. Key not to get too flat on this one. Is do needs you stay to on the short or do you stay high? Well, he looks like staying high. Do you stand into the rail on this one? Yeah, he will. No, you will not. Hmm. This is... If he cannot go forward two rails, this is a tricky shot. You have to be very precise on the cue ball. It's even tempting just to play one rail straight flat. Taking some medicine, should be fine. A high ball, come down to the right side of the nine. Do you use a long rail here as well? No. Just no. high flat? I'm talking about my shot and how I see it from here. I think just a high ball, short, short. A lot of movement by Grape. But perfect speed. But perfect speed. He's looking composed. He's looking more composed than FSR. Yeah. Now, FSR is the better player on paper. But we're talking about here and now. This man taking a timeout with a 5 4 lead looks the more composed. And we shall be back.
Mr. Grapefruit, the name he goes by on Instagram to break in the 10th. Looking the more composed. It's nice to play from an underdog position. And that goes for Grape. Just had to get myself a coffee, Alex. Sorry for the wait. No, why that? Long day. Long day. I would normally be sleeping back home. So how's your biological clock? Are you adjusted a little bit? Uh, I think we're nearly there, but it does <laughs> take it does take a good week or so, doesn't nearly it? Nearly there. You're yeah. about to go home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think uh, three days is probably enough before. You need more, but in the end... Well, what you can also do, what I used to do before traveling, adjust at home. Yeah. So that would mean uh, uh, going to bed later. That's right. Yeah, that would be ideal, but it's always hard working, you know, N normal nine to five hours. Oh, if you have to work in the daytime, yeah, yeah. That, that's tough. If but, that then, but then maybe work, uh, come home, go to bed late, sleep little, go to work, you'll be tired, come home, sleep, like two hours, and then stay up till three. That's right, yeah. It does help. Yeah, for sure. I would have been nice to have an open shot here, but... We've got a good safety chance. Swing this wide around. Don't want to leave an edge. Just about good. Yeah, that's the thing. Grape is up 5-4 and he hasn't had any running yet. No. That's what I would tell myself if I were him. You've got to be happy. Yeah, you've got to be happy, but sometimes if you're working so hard, you, a player can get a little anxious and they'll look for relief. Call. Looks like we're going airborne. I, I would tell myself anytime soon. And then when you click into gear, it could easily be 7 4, 8, seven, eight 4, and you're laughing. Needs to hope FSR misses here, and if he misses, he leaves something. Because still a big chance with a miss that he might hook him or resafe. Well, it must only be half four, because we he was using the brake gear. Or maybe a little bit more. Very edgy. He looks, well, unstable. He's moving a lot. And it's a characteristic of his game. But that's the thing that he took out of it in the past two years. That, that's what got him all the success. If you were Dennis, would you be using that as energy? Yeah. Well, they have, they have been around each other a lot. You know, back in Europe, these guys... They meet in Europe, they play the European tournaments, they travel to the States, they see each other a lot. And as a pool player, you're some sort of an amateur psychologist. <laughs> well, you become really good at yeah. reading the signs. Oh, he had a nice angle to float over, didn't he? Did you see that close-up of FSR in the chair? Did Re that look calm? No. No. There was some heavy breathing going on. Looks very good to be 6-4. Yeah, and he's taking his time. You know, it's an open table. No need to rush. One ball at a time. It's the unforced errors, the silly mistakes that cost you matches, not the big shots that win you matches. <laughs> I float over to the right side. Ooh. Hit that too low, the cue ball. Yeah, it would have been nice to, he might still be able to, but to swing that seven underneath the nine. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think that's what he played. A little further would have been nice. Let's see if he comes through that eight ball nicely with the cue ball. Is he playing true topspin? 
Is this like that one you were saying about queuing into the sky? Hit it good. I would be happy with that. Yeah, he's happy. Like, he's not comfortable. But no one said it was going to be comfortable playing for a place in the quarterfinals. But he's getting it done. It's looking good. Looking good. He hasn't really had his break going either, and he's still leading six to four. Yeah. Grapefruit. So what is he trying to do to make that break going? Is it worth a switch around, maybe switch sides? It depends. Some players switch sides with ease, and other players prefer to switch the type of hit. And other players are just very stubborn. <laughs> and they'll, they'll continue looking for the perfect hit. Grava leading Sanchez Ruiz, 6-4. Track number 11, grab it to break. I'm liking the composure part as well. Yeah. Well, we're seeing a switch. I'm pretty sure he's been breaking the right side, hasn't he? Because he was applying too much right spin. I think you're right. I think so, is it? maybe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Let's make let's make that your point of focus, yeah? <laughs> the side that they break from. Uh, where's my pen and paper? <laughs> <laughs> he definitely applied uh, just more flat ball on that one as well. Nothing exciting going on here. Well, I don't see any decent safety option. It's also that he's difficult. Cue ball's in a difficult position. He's already looking at a push out. Not easy either. Push he can out. he can slow roll the seven into the nine without snookering on the two ball. Try and um, swing the two two rails towards the the the, um, the diamond sign on the bottom short rail. Swing the well. That's a shot that FSR plays well. Control the cue and the white ball. Get the white ball swinging around that eight ball with stun. Don't tell me it goes. Extension, Extension called. called. Could be even half pocket the way he's looking at it. Poo. Well, he's committed. He has used his time looking at the potting angle. Oh, now he goes back to his safety. The two rail for the two ball. Which one do you, are you liking? The two rail? Well, I'm not attacking, but I'm not FSR. Um, yeah, I think the two rail. Yeah, plenty of movement there. Good shot. Good speed. Yeah, I like this. I like this. A swerve. If you come into the ball, but from the left side of the six. But he has decided it's too much curve. Needs a roll. Yeah, we lost the safety battle. Was a good shot by FSR. Well worked out. But no clear favorite in the safety battles. No clear uh, advantage for either one. No. It's about 50-50. Not like the other match with Alpenhow. He had his head. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was unbelievable, wasn't it? Yeah, he's a tough man to beat this tournament, Alvin. 
to beat him to the shot. Let's see how smoothly he gets through these ones. Looks like the six passes the eight reasonably oh, enough. That would help. Because then he can basically hold the cue ball approximately where the six ball is now. Perfect. This is nice. Oh, whoa, whoa. If you can put the cue ball at this distance under pressure, that's sweet. Twice across? Or just a little hold? I think twice across. That's the pop in his step around the table. Getting back in his rhythm. The push out battle won. And he'll be breaking in the 12th, trying to level again. What are the odds for another hill hill finish? Mm. Um. Mm. We wouldn't think so, but there's already been two today that I've seen. Who would you? Who do you think? Who, who would you pick to win this match? Well, Dennis is looking smoother and not breaking great, but FSR somehow he just he will find his gear, I believe, and somehow just switch the game around to his favour. Yeah, Sanchez Ruiz has become the expert in sh leading excelling six, five, when it's the business end of things. Sanchez Ruiz to break. Dennis is having a little peek over to where that white ball was placed as well. See if he can pick up anything off it. God, he gets some action off that off that break, doesn't he? With no yeah. with no English. No English, draw. Don't know if this thicker hit on the one was on purpose. And if it wasn't, it might be something that he'll look to copy on his next attempt. Can he land somewhere near the right long rail for the four ball on the right side? Later, yeah, I was looking at that. I think so. Yeah, he's got a nice angle to slide over here. In nine ball, usually you look ahead three balls. So if that four ball would not be available from the right side, he would have looked, looked longer. A little bit about English. It's not a jury sport. <laughs> Ball pocket cue ball position. That's all you need. Nice little slide over, use that long rail to kill the speed a little bit. Nice angle. Yeah, it'll stay high here. Just low, maybe a hair of left. Has to make a choice. Check side to the left side of the nine or come around with low left. He'll play to go to the second rail. Uh oh. Perfect. He's got his cue ball control. He's landing nice and close to him, isn't it? Not 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 too far away. A little bit different to filler. The other match is trying to leave him he's happy to leave himself that yeah, little bit distance. More distance. Yeah, that's the thing. If you have a good run being a top player, you, you have many matches on the TV, TV table. And the feeling of needing to adjust is not there because 
you're there, you're there where you play all those big matches. Makes a big difference if you play against underdogs, against no names, against weaker players. And this could be where that the match just goes in. Yeah, you're goes, right. Goes, goes. Yeah, and uh, Dennis Grape has gone. Took a timeout. We've seen this. It's allowed. It's a way to relieve yourself of your physical needs, but also to break your opponent's rhythm. Meanwhile, Feyen is up 4-1 uh, against Pichel. He's a former winner, Feyen. He's flying under the radar nicely. Smooth operator. He's playing well recently. Also, public publicly, he uh, sp has spoken out about setting his target on the title this week in Poland. Yes. Well, you know, if if it's like it's that break going, could be some danger. For some reason, the best players in the world, I just feel they can just get on that run, just click gear, bang. I don't know, it just happens. Yeah, but how many three wreck runs have you seen this week? Not as many as I thought I would. No, I think maybe. Four. Hasn't been too many. Yeah, I'm wondering what's the biggest um, the biggest pack there's been so far in terms of people breaking and running and I don't know if you've if you've heard of anything large or uh, five by Shane in that last match. No, no, no. On on uh, day two, I think. Yeah. So nothing crazy. I wonder if it gets to the later stages of the tournament, whether you know things might open up, and that oh, may be the case. Oh, oh, that's possible. That's possible. Polished balls, maybe a new set of balls. Super clean table. It happens a lot in tournaments that in semi-final, final, all of a sudden, the table starts breaking soft. It does make a difference whether the balls are cleans or not. I remember in the, this is like 2006, if I recall well, that was the start of the soft breaks. One on the spot, tap breaks, soft break, and then there was a Stéphane Cohen, the Frenchman, former world champion straight pool. He, he had like uh, perfectioned his, his soft break and he even went so far, he said, well, from the right side, it's better from the right, because on that side, the table is cleaner, less gaps, because from the left, ev most players br break from the left. Yeah, so more break marks and everything like that. Yeah, so also when they had one on the, uh, nine on the spot without a break box, um, you know, it helps to clean the balls. Mm. So if you're breaking from the right side, it helps to clean the one and the two balls behind it on your side. Would you suggest people to make sure they play with polished balls much at home? If they want to well, get themselves used to Sometimes what conditions? I would do when I'm playing, just clean those three balls. Just the top three? Yeah. yeah. On my side. There's that draw. got a chop. He's got a chop and he has a gap between the eight and nine. Cut shots are so much better playable if there's a, a lane for the cue ball. Yeah, you can hit this one flat through the gap, can't he? Trace of spin. I like still it. sharp. I, I think he's still making his mind up whether he likes it or not. Is this, is the scratch an issue if he catches it a head no, fat in the pocket? No, he's not going to give that much spin. I don't think. It's like he's even looking at crashing into the four. But I wouldn't think so. Extension call. Big shot. 
So now he's looking at a safety. I think if he slices the cue ball on the, the two ball on the left side, he can give it enough speed to go all the way to the long run on the right with low left, or he can bring the cue ball in that area top right. I like attacking though. You like attacking on this one? Mm. It's like he was scared of something in terms of the cue well, ball control. Well, it was a tricky shot. Mm. It was difficult cue ball control. And then if you spot a, a playable safety, uh, you know, it becomes harder to pull the trigger. Mm. Two rail hit here. Yeah. Extension call. It's looking at one rail. That would be sweet. Got Mr. Arcady watching in the background. And there. then he needs to choose Grape if he if if he can play one rail to the right side of the three into the short rail. He needs to choose if he plays it subtle, a little bunt towards the four, or with more spin, thinner. I like this one. Well, he did good. He did very good. And also, what I liked, his management of the shot clock. Very so good. He, he walked up there, ready to play the one railer, but he was ready mentally to switch. And he did, at the last instant, without losing focus. Yeah, he had, he had both lines ready to go, and then he fired. That works. <laughs> Two rails is an easy way to hit the ball. Underneath. Mm, I like this. Doesn't want to hit it too full because then the cue ball stays there. He would like the cue ball to slide back towards the middle of the short rail. Yeah, it'd be nice. You could even get it behind the three, sort of, eh? In a way. Shot, 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 shot. Oh, this is beautiful. He's playing good. Good speed. He's a very well-respected player, Dennis Grape is. But if he were to go on and kick FSR out of the tournament, would be a surprise. Another top favorite what? out it, as SVB lost against Wong a little earlier. Advantage to Dennis. Well, that would mean the top three seeds are out, including filler as well. If that may be the case. I still like his shot selection. The shot was hard enough as it was. Close to the rail. Didn't fancy jacking up and doing something spectacular. I still like the shot selection. I just feel, you know, you get a little unfortunate. Still confidence busy making the ball. It's nice. Yeah, it was a good stroke. He's making... He's lucid. I think he's... He's thinking very straight, Grape. Hmm. You'll see the top side of the three, at least the top side. Yeah, it looks like that, the looks like the cue ball is going to be heading towards the six in a way. Yeah. He would like to have a, a, a lane, a passage between the five and seven, but that's not on, I feel. Twice across. Twice across. Does it have the legs? Does it have the legs? It does. He's trusting his gut. Mm, you that's did well what there. I see. That's what I see. So the moment he sees the shot, 
He goes down and pulls the trigger. With good execution as well. I still feel he's looking the better at the two. Yes, 100%. But FSR, being a tier one player, is better at the latter stages of matches. Definitely. And Dennis Grape, I'm sorry to say, but is a bit of an early man. Getting deep in tournaments so often and then failing to kick on. So that's also something that he himself might struggle with. Mm. Unless this is his breakthrough tournament. You never know. Eh? So is he going to play the 5-6 combo? Uh, into the bottom left pocket as we view it now. Looks like it. Or potentially maybe even crash into him now as well. Can he play it at a speed where if he crashes and he misses, he's still got the combo? No. Well, that speed, but I don't like it. Should have maybe just combo? Well, should have, should have. He's trying hard. Um, he definitely saw an option and he wanted to play it, which is good. In the yeah, way. I th yeah, I think he had a, it was a nice route to open the balls up. Just bunt it. If you don't know what to do, just bunt it. Slightly heavy-handed. It's not on. It's not on, I think. Hopefully not. And For that means sake. that Grape, again, in a tricky spot, in the last seconds, has managed to find a solution again. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Big shot. I thought he could see some of it, but I don't know how much. Obviously, he could see it a little bit better than what he thought. Stay away from the seven. Keep still. Probably first little sign there. Yeah, a little too hasty that. Well, the thing is, everybody's going to miss. The question is, what does that miss do to your mindset? So don't self-sabotage. Don't go on tilt. Keep playing the one shot at a time. Uh-oh. We're okay. Not very nice, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, how do you play it? Do you jack up and stroke it in, hold the cue ball? It's a tough shot. Do you go it's forward, tough. try and bump to seven? I think he's going to drag it. Yeah, he's good at I think that's the way shots. that he plays them, yeah. Oh, <laughs> did he cream it in? <laughs> Never hit the long reel, that ball. Mm. Beautiful. Wow. They're never fun. Could this be the game changing rack? Or the match changing rack, I should say. FSR has been playing phenomenal for over 12 months. As a result, people have been missing balls against him in important situations. It's just the name pressure. You know, this he is very familiar with this so yeah very big six ball very big six he was ball. happy to make the five leave himself any distance if he missed maybe potentially trying to hit the six on the way out he, he was always going to be fine with distance. But, he, but he missed that six was it the six no the five the five he missed the five because he was worried about the seven yeah hmm do the balls open up off this break? Does he fly away with it now? Well, you would think so. You would think Sanchez so. Ruiz, leading grabber, seven, six. Crack number 14. And that's Sanchez the Ruiz kind of luck that you need to go deep in a tournament like this. The kind of luck for Grape to miss a shot like that 
and not get punished. And, and Nils is on fire on table three. Six one up. Cue ball. Hopla, that's the luck you need. That's big. I will take that. Gets a lot of purchase on that cue ball, doesn't he? Off yeah. the break. Start the clock, please. Seven eight are tied. So I like to play this from the center of the table into the short rail. Well, it's it's a choice. Yeah, I like this. Because then you're not coming across the line of aim on the two. Feels the easiest, speed-wise. Now he's going to look. Come back two long rails for the three or stay in the middle of the table. So what about this seven and eight ball? Um, I would look from the three. If he can get to the right side of the table on the three, then he could still consider to do something with the seven, eight. And otherwise I'm going to leave it for till after the six. Maybe it goes. Maybe I can hold. You could even potentially play the stick shot as well. Yeah, that. Or if you get in, if you get a, get yourself a nice angle in the six where you can kind of land on it or potentially. Bump yeah, exactly, it. Yeah. exactly. So that that's what he told himself. He he's very much playing the clock. Mm. He's playing a, s a style of nine ball that allows him to manage the clock. Let's see what angle we've got. So is it a problem that needs absolute solving now? Or wait. Mm. Or wait, mm. yeah. I like the wait option. What angle have we got? Wrong angle. <laughs> yes, just a little bit. Is it worth even just bumping into the um, nine now, for example, and then playing the seven off the long route onto the top route? Oh, good shot. So you're saying for a containing safety? Yeah, just containing safety. Just bump yeah. into the nine now. Yeah, so... Cut the seven into the long rail, bring it to the middle of the short rail and put the cue ball on the short rail below. I like it. It's solid. It's playable. And under, the, under pressure, it's probably not too bad as well. Now, he tried to it's do more. Tricky. Yeah, but with the cue ball in this position, the containing safety that you spoke of is a little trickier. Mm can still miss the kiss, but he cannot play it as deadly as he could have with more angle. Yeah, he could kind of baby it more beforehand. So, he got the distance, but with your angle before, had he played that, he could get that seven closer to the short rail. And now, nobody will be surprised if FSR hides the cue ball behind the eight. Yeah, where before, potentially, if he's freezing that seven, it's oh, much it's harder. A, it's, a di it's, it's a different shot. Um, he'll need to make a little choice, FSR. Which side of the nine ball? No, to what extent am I playing the cue ball? Which one do you prefer more? I like controlling the seven. So trying to freeze it on the short rail. We'll come to the right side of the nine. Playing a good seven. And have a chance to snooker. Oh, no, 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 no. That's well short. No, 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 no. And real jumpy. Mm. I would have been happy to have that shot, in a way, because it, uh, sh it should have been much harder in terms of the safety opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit off that one. Well, it's the beginning of the end in this match, I feel. <laughs> the heat is on. Good song. Look this. So he's playing. He's he's playing shot clock pressure pull. Mm. Just cinch the ball. We'll see from there. Like instead of making maybe it was things too too complicated. Yeah, maybe you're scared of catching it fat, but having to to juice it up with the right as well. He maybe. was happy to make that ball. Mm. Needs to make this one. Ah. Uh. Second miss in this wreck. Could hurt. This could be the beginning of the end. Mm. 
Yeah. And Grape's reaction was telling. A little speedy. Just to make it interesting. We'll play a high ball. For a two rack lead. Yeah, and it's down. A two rack lead for FSR. A big miss on that eight ball. A oh, big miss, yeah, an imported miss. Yeah, should have got gotten that, especially after missing that five ball in the previous wreck. So he's under the gun now, under the cush, they say in the UK. In Australia as well, Jojadis. Under the gun, I would say. Under the good, under the cush, no? Nah, not as much. Behind the eight ball, in the English pool, they like to say. Oh yeah, <laughs> and behind the eight ball. Tough action for Grape because he's down by two. Has missed two balls now, two imported shots. And he is seeing Sanchez FSR three, breaking good eight, the last six. couple of wrecks. Rack number fifteen, Sanchez three is to break. Ooh, that's sweet. That is sweet, that. Look at the cue ball reaction in the it's replay. It's crazy, yeah. It's like when um, when Ronnie screws into the pack. Yeah. And he gets, gets so much bite out of it. Yeah, that, yeah. So yeah. after impact, they're still alive in the cue ball. So much life, yeah. He times it beautifully. Ooh. Are we attacking or? Yeah, I think he will. I think he will. Should be okay to hold the cue ball, though? Well, he can, but it doesn't make the shot any easier. Like a nice speed to play it with is if you would bring the cue ball back approximately to where it is now. But that's too much. Extension call. Can also, you know, the defensive, sh I, I think he'll play, but defensive would be to overcut the two. Overcut, bring it back towards the first diamond. And the cue ball ending up below the six. Mm. I think, I think I might prefer that one. Yeah, but you know how it is. When you're out mm. there, it's difficult to pass up on an opportunity. Yeah, as long as you feel comfortable enough to hold it, I like it. Unless, it, maybe you might, yeah, we'll see. Because I know personally, I miss those shots a lot. <laughs> sure. <laughs> It is not nice when you can't play at a comfortable speed where you're guaranteed position. I know, but it's, it's so, ugly. look, <laughs> it's so difficult to pass up on opportunities. And especially when you've kind of been gifted the last two racks in a way. In a way. But now Dennis has got to hold himself together here in this rack. Come on, he will. I'm sure he will. If he's straight on the four, doesn't want to... Have to mess with the nine ball. Oh, he's not straight. Extension Big ball. shot. Better too far than too short. Nils is up 8 1 as well. 8 1, nice run, the Terminator. Back in the game. Beautiful shot. Once in a while, we do an online training session. The last training session, um, he was good. Nils? Yeah, he yeah. was good. I think so. <laughs> and it was almost, sometimes I give input, but this time it was almost, I felt like he asked for the session just to show his form or, or to test his form with critical eyes. And then he passed with flying colors? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. And he's a very complete player. And in this format, you know, you, you need everything. Shot making, run out ability, playing under pressure, kick shots, safeties, banks. All of the above. And luck.
He had a scare, 11-10, against the young Bosnian Pitnjak, if I say that correctly. But who didn't survive a scare in this field? Very, very true. Fighting hard, and that'll help Dennis Grape to forget those two missed shots. A five and an eight. Trailing by one. Breaking in break 16. We'll have one more match on table two in this tournament. The quarterfinals will start in a little bit when these rounds finish. It's been a marathon for me. <laughs> It'll be my last match, and then tomorrow I'll sit back, feet in the air, and just watch it. It will be a good watch tomorrow, that's for sure. Sanchez Ruiz leading grabber 8 7. Rack number 16, grabber to break. Break like you mean it. Don't get weak. Um, my notes are telling me something. He switched sides. He switched. It's not a coincidence that Dennis Grape a couple of times now hit the low side of the nine and then bumps forward with the cue ball where Sanchez so often misses the nine or hits the top side. Yeah, and bringing that cue ball in a much more accessible area. How crazy is that? So they, they come with this break, match room, nine on the spot, break box, and then within a couple of months, players are breaking to hit Watch the out. top side of the nine on the way back. Mm. That's pretty sick. Um, ooh, I don't like it. Your choice, Francisco. I, I, think, don't like I, it. I think if I was going to push out today, I wouldn't have left it frozen to the rail. Yeah, because it's the angle is difficult yeah. enough. You know what I mean? Or yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, because you're giving someone an unnatural angle and technical difficulty. Where he probably knows FSR is not going to take it. He's leaving himself frozen. Now he's, he's kind of li limiting his, his opportunities. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he knew he was getting it back. I'm not sure if he realized the difficulty of this position when he played it. It's tough, the, the thing, so you have the pressure, but you also have that the nagging shot clock. All the time, pressure, 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 think quick, think quick. It never goes away. I've, did, I've done a lot of shot clock training in the past with the Feyen and some other players from the Netherlands. Uh, and, what, and the Moscone guys, what you see is that uh, they sort of manage the clock for 20 minutes, 50 minutes, and then a blunder. Because they always had to make like four wrecks in a row against the Ghost. Nine ball, ten ball, eleven, twelve ball. But at some point it sort of snaps. They, 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 they can't manage the clock Just anymore. Just a little lapse in concentration. <laughs> Two seconds where they forget they're under the clock and then all Bang. of a sudden they're rushing. It's quite easy to do. So what's the, is there a is there a secret way in practicing for the shot clock? Well, have someone clock you and play against the ghost with uh, uh, 15 seconds. Try to get four wrecks in a row. That's one. And ideally, also when you play someone. But the thing is, if you play just sparring against someone, and it's not really intense or suspenseful, then you're never going to be needing the full time so practice that with 20 seconds yeah and one extension yeah a friend a friend of mine actually uh, we've been practicing a little bit with the shot clock and he made this little app yeah and so basically it goes up on the my little tvs or my ipad screen and then he's got like this little button so i've got little buttons around my table 
So as soon as we the cue ball stop, we can just press the button, or if we're sitting down, just press the button. Okay, yeah. And it works really well. Well, that. Yeah, it's good. So you asked me how to train, so you could tell about your friend's app. In a way. <laughs> yeah, and then later you're gonna say the name and the brand and where to upload it. Yeah, it's, it's on your website. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. It's go there's got to be ways. Hey, Sanchez Ruiz. He knows the business end of things. He didn't panic the first half, even though he looked a little shaky. Keep doing the simple things right, keep thinking straight. And that was a mental error by Dennis Grape, I feel. Too difficult, that push. And we might have a little toilet break. We shall be back. Sanchez Ruiz leading Grabe 9-7. Crack number 17. Sanchez Ruiz to break. The past 15 minutes, things have been going FSR's way. A miss on a 5, a miss on an 8 ball, and a mistake on a push out. Grape put himself in a difficult position on the 1, double kissed, and from there FSR ran the balls in style. Did that two ball come out far enough yeah, for a cut in the side pocket? Has it peaked out enough? He doesn't quite crush him, he just smooths him, doesn't he? I like his speed with the break. 
Yeah, is it worth is it worth the jump? Pooh. Just a little pop. <laughs> yeah, just a little pop. You make it sound nice. It's <laughs> the least I could do. I think also because there's so many safety battles in these matches with this format. Um, players, I think, play a little more aggressive than we have seen them play in the past. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, Where definitely. sometimes they, they say, well, I might as well risk it because safety battle, what are my odds? 60-40? I like the little jump. Just a little pop. It is a little. It's probably just so little that he even can play it with his playing cue. Push out cold. No. Can even bump it to the right side of the rail. Yeah. Use the five as a blocker. Um. He tried to, in a way. He knew the seven was always hampering that low right pocket. Well, if he could see that much of it, surely it wasn't that much to to just peek over the edge of that nine. Now, anyway. Grape is looking if he can overcut the two. To the left of the seven and send it back up table. It's tight. And then with the right spin, maneuver the cue ball to the short rail. It's one. It's like a standard route, but then you check if it's on or not. And if it's not on, you're in a bad spot. Because I don't see too, too much else. You said play this one with, with running? Instead of left, left check? Uh, yeah, with right. Because with right. you want to dive underneath the eight ball. Yeah. But he didn't find... He didn't find it. It wasn't on. And he knew he would expose the two ball playing like this. All he could do was focus on the cue ball. So in the end, good shot by FSR. Even though to some it might have seemed a bit conservative. Shot in the heart of the pocket. Lovely. Just so that hair of left, just to let it float down underneath the A-ball. Did it hit the long rail? No, I went in clean. Oh, so nice. So nice. Probably a little bit flatter than he wants it here. Did he power this one? Or uh, stun run through with right spin. Just get above the nine, or is he going to draw it? Low left, n near the seven ball. Is he going to play this uh, the bottom side of the side pocket where the cue ball is now? Well, he can he can hit it with a high ball, trace of right, come in between the side pocket and the six. And that makes the pot easier. Nice. Now, don't try this at, at home, all the moving <laughs> that he does. <laughs> But what it does show you, the moving, is that he's not so focused on being precise and perfect. He's focused on feel. And that, you can try at home. Feel and rhythm. Confidence. And I'm pretty confident he'll go to the hill here. FSR, 10 racks to 7. Looking good to place himself into the next round. Yeah, sneaky little safety. It was a very good containing safe. It didn't, didn't give uh, Dennis many options in terms of... Well, it's, so it wasn't a containing safety, actually. And this is, this is something I... You know, when I teach... What would you call it, then? 
Well, you put a guy in a trap in a not so obvious situation. So you give him full view of the ball, but he doesn't have anything natural to play. So like a trap safety. Yeah, but mm. these are difficult to find. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, you're thinking you can see all the ball, but there's not much of an advantage. <laughs> yeah, there was, but, but then again, if that two ball would have ended up uh, like 10 centimeters lower, then he would have had that natural safety. Yeah, that shot you were suggesting before. Yeah. It's margins. And that's the cool thing about these champions with the shot clock. They're like supercomputers because they're looking and checking all those margins and all the options they have in ample time. One ball down. Wing ball down. Yeah, you made one ball. Oh, I thought you said the one ball. Sorry, my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Has he, got, has he got much of a look? No, the five blocks his path. No. No easy opening here. Can he um, swing the one in between the five and nine? Two rails up table? Maybe use the seven as a blocker? Try and get that one as far up table as you can. Looks like it. Similar to that shot he played before underneath the eight. Yeah, he, he a couple he, racks ago. He plays that shot a lot. Mm. Nice and tight on the rail. Wants it to go a little more. I don't think there's a gap between the six and seven. He controls both balls well. Yeah. On that shot. Looks pretty tight. You've got to be gutted to leave a gap. Nice. Good speed. Yeah. Almost. So, a kick. Kick and stick. Well, if the angle allows him, he's a little straight into the rail. He can also slice it, like extreme cut, and send that one ball in between the gap where the three ball is. Extension goal would give him a lot of margin, big chance to snooker. Looks like we're liking that shot towards the three a little bit more. I think he's feeling. Or is he feeling the nice kick and stick in a way? Ten seconds to pull the trigger. Nice. That works. So it's not so it's not as strong as that safety before, but it it's sort of an example of the same principle. You you give your guy full view of the ball. And he's still in a tight spot. He's even looking at the nine. Or an up and down. Either or. I'm not too sure. If you can get the one up and down table, it would be nice. But yeah, but up and down, it will track towards the first diamond if you hit it perfect on the left. It's going to spread and open up a little bit. Yeah. You have like four square inches to play for. Played it soft. Up and down. Okay, you're right. It was the up and down, but he tweaked it to where it worked. Mm, he was focus focusing on the five a lot as well there. Nice. As you said, the one was going to always open up more off that, off that short rail. Can he just clip it and send the white towards the eight? Yeah, with rail first. Yeah. A lot of margin because of that four. Oh, that's thick. I was thinking a bit more speed as well. Obviously way thinner than that, the strike. Yeah. Always tricky when you're you know, applying side spin and trying to feel it off that long rail. Yeah, that he might have sort of gotten a little scared in the end of going for the thin clip. 
He's trying to get it behind the four. This is open. And the three ball to the top pocket is open. Basically, this one ball for the match. With your back against the wall, Dennis Grape from Estonia. Playing to make it 10-8. We've seen plenty fight backs from a 10-8 deficit this week. Slight angle on the three. He'll run it to the six, it looks like. Nice stun. Nice little tweak of the angle, worked out well. Let's see what speed he plays at here. Yeah, he can go deep between the seven and nine or between the seven and six if he lets the cue ball roll. Depends on the exact angle, he'll play the most natural one. Looking good to go, 10-8. With his back against the wall. Yeah, beware the wounded bear. Don't jump on a man unless he's down. Watch out for this man. <laughs> he has nothing to lose. Nice stroke. Well, let's see how, much, how good these balls open up on the break. I say he's due a good result. I think so as well. He's probably had the worst end of the spectrum in terms of yeah, it's the breaking also, results. It's also because Sanchez breaks better, I think. Yeah, because earlier during the match, Dennis was applying that English, and then he's kind of back off it, mixed up the sides as well. Yeah, so that alone, that he changed what he was doing mid-match, tells you that he's not so confident about the way he breaks the balls. Yeah, he's trying to search it. You know, if you have an instrument that has worked for months and months on end, you stick with it. He's definitely due. No, oh, yeah, D-U-E. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, give the man a shot. Give the man a shot. More drama. Yeah, Ni Nils is, is looking pretty strong. Grabber Ten to three. Eight. Track number 19. Grab it to break. Nice. Good cue ball, but no one in the side. And no ball down. And, and a shot at the one. And a shot at the one. Second try for FSR. He missed that long shot. The previous wreck. Who was that? Who was that guy that knocked Joshua out of the tournament? Who was who that? The lion. The lion. Alex Pegulion. Go to pegulion.net. I write up for his newsletter. Big shot. Just hit it flat or with a little, little low right and try and miss the two? Yes, I think. If you bump it, you should be right. Yeah, the one ball's far away. It's enough off the rail. But the three ball, look, if it weren't for the, th for the three, I think drag it with the trace of right. Yeah, I still, li I still like it. it. I think it's further, further enough. But the thing is, if you don't commit and you try it and you hit the two ball on the right side, then you lose shape. If you choose to run into the two and play full ball hit into the two, that's good. Well, you hit it nice and flat, worked out well. Probably a hair too much angle, but you might, might be able to kill it.
He needs one good shot to get in shape. From there, he has an open position. He's not playing low on the ball. Nice. Yeah, just using the nice long route to try and kill the speed of the cue ball. So these types of shots on the three, it's not super difficult. But he's been so consistent the past 12 months. Look, hits it perfect. Look how he hits it. Gorgeous, gorgeous control. Yeah, and now he's in the match winning position. And he's looking at how much angle he can allow himself to have on the five. Yep. He needs to come back. Yeah. Just drift over a little bit. Hmm. Probably a little too straight. Yeah, he's all right. Actually, he's right-handed, so his his left hand will bridge. Seven and eight are not in the way. Actually, he's perfect. Yeah, he wants to be a lot fuller and probably not touch the other long round. Just draw straight down table. Look, perfect. Nice control. Yeah, now he'll choose. Go to mid-table or get in behind the seven. It very much depends, I think, on the exact angle, which shot presents itself best. Looks pretty good to me. Probably a little stop shot and play the eight long. You like in that? Yeah. Well, the thing is, I, I, that's the shot, but the stop shot will keep you very close to the eight. So he, he has to hit it perfect. Yeah, a little bit angle. Looks like FSR is going to be making himself to the next round. Yeah, good job. Good fight, but in the end, yeah, the favorite of the two pulling through. Yeah, got to feel for Dennis's break. Just didn't quite get it going throughout the match much. And then again, the two misses and the misjudgment on the push-out cost him dearly. Yes, congratulations to FSR. FSR goes through. He's in the quarterfinals. The last match to finish is paying against Pichel. Leading 10 racks to four. We'll be back in some time from now. I don't know how long. It will not be too much. FSR against Chang, Mario He against Feyen or Pichel, Ocean against Sufi, and Kunlin Wu against Duong Kwok Wang.